Hello there. Hello. Hello. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. We're here for some more Starfield. Part three of our pirate playthrough of this game. Part three of the pirate playthrough. We made it to level 12. Oh man, I should be... I should be a few levels higher than this, but I think I've been having a little bit too much fun going about the pirating and making that money. We actually made a lot of money doing some very basic pirate things yesterday. I like it. I like it. All right, what is up next? Breaking the bank. Breaking the bank is up next, so let's see what that entails. Enter the Gal Bank archives and confront Larry Dombrovsky. Larry Dombrovsky is a whole lot of dead, so we need to go to the Gal Bank archives. That's what we're doing next. That's what we're doing next. I do have a skill point that I can spend. Need to go out there and do more pirating things. I need to get more ships to surrender to up our uh, deception, too. In the meantime, let's go ahead and put this point into something. We don't need to worry about extra ammo, extra aid items, and then tracked resources will get a highlighted. We'll get highlighted when using the hand scanner. That's cool. Uh, we need to pickpocket more targets to get more pickpocket stuff going on. Let's see. What do I want? More boost pack training would be nice. You need to destroy more ships to get that going as well. I think I'm just going to hold on to this uh, to this point right now. I'm just going to hold on to this point. So that way we can put it on things that we like when the time comes. Who do I see in chat? I see Dragon211, James Hatton, Radon, Barge, Juka, Sunny G, Agamemnon, Hagrail, Richard Cole, Ugo. Hello there. What's up, Savita? Carlio Coolio? What do you mean by pirate playthrough? I am uh, aiming to be a space pirate. We have joined the Crimson Fleets, and we are doing space piracy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Eno? Mock, hello, Jen. Note to self, don't accidentally sell your spacesuit. Yeah, don't sell your spacesuit. That's a great idea. What's up, Michael? Karina? Dadang? Kujo? Hello? Never played a game with so many loading screens. I got a refund. I mean, have you not played Skyrim or Fallout before? Those games have a boatload of loading screens too, man. It's just very Bethesda. It's how they make their games with this engine. It is what it is. What's up, Winter? What's up, PSY? Morning. Retro Banjo, Turbe, hello. My friend's boss took a week off from work to no life this game. Nice, dude. I used to do that a lot when I was a little bit younger. And now I play video games for YouTube, so... Uh, what's up, Bren? Hey, Carlos. Very uh, big brain thing of you to put in chat. What's up, Screamer? Hey, Augustine. Maybe lockpicking. I do... Oh, you know what? Um, security. That's a good call. You're absolutely right. I forgot all about that. It, I, it makes sense that it's in the security tree, but I always thought that it would be... Um, I, I thought it would be like near theft... But I, it would make sense if it were like a social skill because, you know, like lockpicking is like a social deviancy type of thing. But it makes sense that it's here and I always forget about it. That's a good call. Thank you for the reminder on that. What's up, Tamashi? Anyways, let's, uh, let's go follow our quest objective, shall we? How you doing, Bren? What's up, dude? Hey, Greybeard. Yorkshire, hello. Can't watch today. Just wanted to say hi and wish you the best for the stream. Thanks for stopping by, Yorkshire. I appreciate your company. Can I help you with something? Do do. What's up, damn Swib? Hello, Andrew. What's up, guys? Wow. You look Okay, hold on. Let me change this. Okay, there we go. My PC has this really weird thing going on where it just like opens up the uh, the quick access folder, and I don't know why. I don't know why it does that. What's up, guy shard? How you doing? This game good or what? Uh, I mean, I'm enjoying it. I'm liking it. I enjoy Bethesda's games though. Always have. 
I'll put it like this. If you enjoyed Elder Scrolls and Fallout, there's a really good chance you'll enjoy this too. Hello. Welcome to the <clears throat> the uh, Galbank Archives. What's Pass up, your Bindi? credentials, please. Uh, show credentials. Here you go. Just one moment while I verify. Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Dombrowski. Welcome, sir. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. All right. You're acting a bit strange. Me? No. Look, this is my first day on the job. Just cut me some slack, okay? I can't afford to lose it. Got a wife and kids to feed. Oh, no. Everything checks out. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. There we go. Have a wonderful day. First day on the job, and we're giving him the bamboozle. Oh, no, dude. Do, do, do. Deal with the ecliptic ambush? What do you mean? Okay. Okay. Yep. Eat that, dude. How dare you get in the way of my stabby times? Come here. Have that. And that one. And that. This guy's struggling. He's struggling. Okay. He's not struggling now. There you go. Have that. Yeah. Yeah. You're probably wondering how I knew you were there, huh? You're probably wondering how I knew you were there. Acrobats, calibrated, deep core spacesuits. We'll take that. I'll also take your uh, rifle. We could sell that for a chunk of change. Thank you, sir. So why was there a bunch of ecliptic in here? And that makes sense why the other guy out there was acting strange. I don't think it was so much his first day on the job as much as it was he was trying to somehow let me know that something was up in this room. He was trying to let me know. I wonder if he's still going to be out here. Can I speak to you? He gone. I wonder if he was also an ecliptic. I wonder if he was also an ecliptic merc. Either way, we took care of business up here just fine. This game first person over. Can you choose a different view? There is a third person over the shoulder and then third person ranged. Yep. I just prefer playing uh, most games in first person if that's the option, because I just uh, if I find first person very intuitive personally. All right. Lost ship registry. Serendipity. Okay. Four search attempts on it. There's the legacy. That's the one we need right there. Uh, classified. Bannock. Last known planetary location. Bannock 4. Okay. We're going to Bannock 4, I think. All Galbank transports have been fitted with the CPR type encrypted transponder beacons. These beacons broadcast a predetermined long range unique signature ping using high frequency hyperburst scatter arrays. The arrays ensure that the beacons are always broadcasting a maximum spread to assist any specially equipped search vessels. CBR transponders feature the latest in encryption technology, boasting military grade ultra bit encryption fully cycling crypto modulation and a cascading frequency spectrum did anyone understand any of that in order to properly track a target transport please submit a request to the security office to receive a tracking cipher okay so because they're so highly encrypted we need a very special tool that has a frequency to detect it got it 
Transponders operate via an independent self-contained power source that allows them to maintain detection capable for up to 250 years. So we should be able to find that other ship just fine. Note that as the life of the power source declines, the broadcasted reception radius will be gradually reduced. Makes sense. By accessing archive materials, you are hereby consenting to observing proprietary materials belonging to Galbank and its subsidiaries. Oh my god, with legal jargon. Legal jargon. What's up, Sven? How you doing? Got sick today, so here for some dra distraction. I'm sorry you're not feeling well, dude. I'm sorry about that. I hope you feel better soon. Is there anything else in here? I have to imagine the archives would have more than just these servers, right? We've got a coffee maker. we got lots of coffee bags. Some notebooks. I guess there's really not a whole lot of special stuff in here. Ah, Galacticat. All right, let's go. Where'd that other guy go? I'm curious. Let's make a save here. Let's also heal up and let's get out of here. I'm doing well, Egon. Why not upgrade your cargo space? Because I just uh, am waiting until I can like go all in on making a lot of changes to my ship. But also, the cargo hold that I have on my ship right now is shielded, which means that I'll have a higher chance to smuggle things. So that's just kind of what I'm playing with right now. I could throw maybe another one on there, though. What's up, RFI? Can you buy a house in the city in this game? You can get uh, places to live, yes. Uh, I believe you could start with a house if you take the dream house perk, but I do believe it puts it on like a, a different planet. When I send a message, people will be able to see that subscribe, be able to see that I subscribe to this channel. I mean, yeah, I, the reason why I have uh, the chat set to subscription only, a, making it so you have to subscribe to the channel to speak in chat is because it cuts out all of the bots. Bots aren't really programmed to subscribe to channels. The only time like accounts like that will is if the owner of that channel manually does it because they're just not programmed for that. And so that just cuts out a lot of the weird like porn links and stuff like that from being in chat. It's a very easy way to cut all that nonsense out so that way you guys have a higher quality chat experience. What's up, Alvis? Have you successfully smuggled harvested organs? Not yet. Not yet, dude. Yeah, no offense to Nightbot, our resident Nightbot. What's up, Gara? How's it going, man? What's up, Greg? Can you play this entire game in third person? Yes. Yes, you can. Okay, proceed to the key. Let's a go. I love that it still says confront Larry Dombrovsky. Larry is very dead. I don't know why, uh... I don't know why it keeps saying that, but Larry's very dead. Let's go back to the key. There we go. We have just enough fuel to make it. Got a friend who went to law school and he says, no nothing tests your ability to stay awake than legal mumbo jumbo. Do that and you might learn something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This new Skyrim mod? Yeah, made by Bethesda themselves. Doing alright, Psyduck. How are you, man? Alright. I'm sure we have some stuff to sell, so let's prioritize that, and then we'll go speak with Delgado. Game can't stay at constant 60 FPS on PC. It does for me, Dragon Slayer, but again, I do have a very high end PC, so that definitely helps me out. I'm sorry it's struggling for you. I hope. All right, make it quick. All right. Let's... All right, sell weapons. We don't want the Grendel. We don't want the calibrated Grendel or the Solstice. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's see. Spacesuits. Yeah, we can sell that bad boy. Helmets, sell that bad boy. 
It's a broken helmet, so, you know. Definitely want to get rid of that. Let's see. Yeah, have some stolen metabolic agents, dude. There you go. Those are for you. I'm going to go ahead and sell the stolen Digipix just because I can make a little, like, a little bit of change on them. You can have the medical supplies, too. Okay. Yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good. Let me see what you got. Let me see. Do you have any, work. like, cool stuff for me? Nope. I just sold you those weapons. Whatever. Whatever. How about you? Do you have any melee weapons? Okay. Okay. Another naval cutlass. Yeah. All right. Guys, got a real attitude. All right. Let's go speak with uh, Delgado. I like my weapons like I like my coffee. I like my weapons like I like my coffee. Scalding. Hello, dude. Your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything had happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. Uh, he turned out to be pretty helpful. Yeah, that'd be a first. All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rokoff, I guess we can give him another chance. Yeah. All right. Now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Sure. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock. Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And I got it. Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant. We can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. There's got to be a way. Yeah, sure. We'll just wrap your ship in a ton of copper and launch you right in there. That ought to do the trick, right? Both of you shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Creeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. Maybe the data's wrong? No, no, this all makes sense. The data says the transport went down over Bannock 4, carrying currency during the Narian War. There were ships fighting across the entire galaxy back then. It's not that hard to believe this one got lost that far out from home. Crix wouldn't have given up. That's the spirit, Rook. That is the essence of the Crimson Fleet that has been slipping away lately. Neighbor, the Galbank data says the transport had a CBR-27 transponder. Can we track that kind of thing? Pinpoint its exact location? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra-bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC's been working on a ship signal decryption system called the comm spike. We grab that little beauty, and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that comm spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comm spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. All right. We'll do the best we can. Best we can. What are you, five? All right, that and is enough. Six. We are in arm's reach of Crix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right. 
Let's get this over with. Follow me. Okay. All right. There we go. Nandor, thank you for a whole year of membership. When are you going to start warning people about the Reapers? That is a great, great question. Sir, and sir, I will let you know as soon as I can get in contact with uh, Earth's government, man. I will let you know. <laughs> thank you for a whole year, man. Take it easy, Crown. Put the ghost pepper sauce in the ravioli I'm eating. Dude, that sounds good, though, man. Yeah, I can't have stuff like that nowadays. I wish I could, but nowadays, man, I'll just be suffering from acid reflux for, for days if I do that. Can I research anything? I mean, I guess I could... Let me see. Put some spice in here. Some alkanes in here. There we go. We got some overflow. We just need one aromatic. Hold on. Do I have an aromatic? Nope. No, I do not. The only thing I really care about is the pharmacology and I need to put more points into that. But I'm just like, I, it's not a priority right now. But once it becomes a priority, we should be able to do some really cool things with it. Join a gang already? Um, you're talking about the, the gang that's in the game on a certain planet in a certain city? Yeah, I did that already. Not on this playthrough, but on my other one. All right, let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award? Nice, release the kitties. I'm nice, dude. Very disappointed. Harper and Night keeps the awake that it does. Guys, do me a massive favor. If you haven't already, leave a like on the video. Currently at 60 likes, we could easily spike this up over 100. Easily with everyone here right now. Would mean a lot because YouTube will send out more notifications to people if you do. Uh, here you go. Well, well, look at that. You followed my directions, and now you're going to end up with some credits in your pocket. That about does it then. A hell of a deal for both of us, I'd say. Anyway, here's your cash. Keep this up, and I might even start respecting you. All right, Fleet. We've all got work to do, so let's get to it. 6,000 credits and then 7,800 credits. So, you know, 13,800 credits total there. I mean, I don't think that's bad. I'm not sure how much that thing could have sold for. I actually never looked at this value. I did make a save right before speaking to her, though, so I want to check that out, because if the value is really high on it, then maybe I can just lie to her about having it all together. Where is it? 65,000 value. Okay, hold up. All right, you stay right there. Um, let me just see. Like, what would what would this guy buy it for? You know what I mean? What would this guy buy it for? Um, this guy's not going to buy it at all. Oh, hold on, that's not selling. There we go. Let's see, where is it? What was it called? The Earth something award? I am here if you need me. Please tell me you know exactly what this better be. It might not it. be sellable here. Do 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 yeah, it's not here either. Would you say it's similar to No Man's oh. Sky? Only Bye. in the resource and planet exploration, like surveying aspect. Outside of that, no. What is this item called? I need to be sure. Earth Savior Award. Earth Savior. Weapons. Um, I bet I have some. Yeah, it's not sellable here at all. Okay, we'll just carry on with that then. All right, see you around. So there I am. Here you go. Here to upgrade that ship. Nope, you're the wrong person. Sorry. Later. All right, let's get. Well, well, look at that. About does it? Anyway. All right, flee. We'll take what we We've can get. We've all got work to do, so let's get to it. All right. Report miss in progress on the UC Vigilance. It still says to confront Larry Dombrowski, but I mean, that man's very dead. We can't confront him about anything. 
I tried confronting him and he died to death, so it is what it is. He done died to death. Report mission progress to the UC Vigilance. Let's do that. Co Rage, thank you for 10 months of membership, dude. Hope you're having fun with the new game I'm playing right now and love it. I'm having a great time with it too, man. Glad you're enjoying the game. Thank you for 10 months of membership, dude. Welcome back. What's up, Mifit Blue? Hey, Prof, how you doing, man? Reminds you of Mass Effect 3, All not much, though. I mean, I guess if, uh, if you look at it from a very broad sci fi perspective, sure. Final Starfield's available on Game Pass. So happy to get to try it out for, try for a reasonable price. Right on, Raz. Right on, dude. I pressed the wrong button. We stealing more stuff today? We absolutely are. Got your back. Thank you, Common Man, for having my back. Thank you for 100 likes on the video, folks. I appreciate it. Let's try to get to 200 before 5 o'clock, yeah? We have half an hour to do that. Any likers out there? Any likers to help us out? All right, let's go to the Vigilance over in the RNA system. Right. Oh, is that the right one? Nope, that's Larry Dombrowski. Vigilance is over here. Downloading Baldur's Gate 3 on PS5 so the wife and I can play. We'll both start flirting with other NPCs to piss each other off. <laughs> Cute. What a great game. I hope you guys enjoy it, dude. Seriously. What a good game. My god. You want to play EVE Online and see me at my absolute trolliest? <laughs> no, I do not want to play that game. I don't want to play that game because I know if I start, I'm not going to stop. I have avoided EVE Online for many years specifically to uh, not get stuck on it as much as I want to. Baldur's Gate 3 is already your game of the year. Yeah, I mean, even after playing Starfield, I'm pretty sure Baldur's Gate 3 is still my game of the year, too. I'm liking this a lot, there still, though. Are. I'm going to make this short and simple. Okay. I heard about that little stunt you pulled on the Siren of the Stars. Opening fire on a Starliner? Oh. Are you out of your mind? A little bit. Uh, I got the job done. Or I had no alternative. There you go. Unacceptable. There are always alternatives. I've tried to be patient with you. But my patience and your time with Sis Death is at an end. What's up, Nanatsu? You're under arrest. Hey. I expect you to follow Lieutenant Dorf to the brig peacefully. Or else we'll have to use lethal force. Do you understand? Brother. These facial animations are absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I'll try not to weigh games too heavily on facial animations, though. I mean, if they're good, they're good. If they're not, they're not. It doesn't really speak to the gameplay. You know what I mean? Don't read so deep on, you know, trivial things. Any way to persuade you to give me another chance? Do you understand what you've done here? If you think for one moment I'm going to allow you to continue under my command, then you've seriously underestimated my judgment. What's going to happen to me now? You're being removed from this ship and transferred to prison, where you'll pay for your crimes. Lieutenant Toft will explain all of the details. I'm sorry it's come to this, but you've left me no choice. See, I would love to attack, but if I do, I'm dead 10 out of 10 times. I just don't have the means to not only escape this ship, but also get out of the system alive. There are so many UC ships that I'll just get instantly melted. How are you hey, doing, Terry? Decision on your part? By order of Commander Kiboya Kande, you are hereby under arrest. You are now stripped of all privileges befitting a member of UC SysDef, and you will be immediately remanded to prison on Jemison. Any attempt to return to this ship will be considered a hostile act, and you will be fired upon. Get off my ship. <laughs> they are not happy with the things that I have done. Sis Def is now your enemy? Aw, oh, shit, dude. <laughs> oh, man, what have I done? 
care of you. <laughs> I don't know what she lost, but she won't get it back by annoying us. Guys, I have gone full pirate. I am no longer undercover. I'm just actually pirate now. Keep it moving. You're my enemy. I hope you know that. <laughs> Seems like the crimson fleet is again pretty Yep, but keeping it real goes wrong. Shit, man. All right. All right, dude. Let's see. We have another skill point we can spend. We're going to hold on to it so that way we can put it into deception as soon as possible. In the meantime, I think we go out there and do some basic piracy for a little while, guys. We go out there, blow up some ships. I'm going to go back to uh, the key so I can pick up some piracy quests. And then get out there and do the piracy actions. I mean, if I'm going to be a pirate, I'm going to be a pirate. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? How have you managed this? Uh, joining the Crimson Fleets? Um, if you guys want me to reveal it, I will. I just don't want to, like... You know, I, I don't want people to, like, feel like they have the, the entire game spoiled for them before they get a chance to figure it out. Will you lose your newly built ship as well? No, this is, this is my property <laughs> girl talks to you game of high school ken is now your enemy hate when that happens dude Broke. well sysdef is my enemy which means they're probably going to attack me in space anytime they see me so i guess we can get a whole lot of loot that way but that's also going to make me really rack up some uh some pretty big bounties. That's not going to be great. If you need credits, hit up the All right, Piracy and Alpha Centauri. Thank you. Piracy and Cheyenne. Thank you. Steal from the clinic on Depala. Thank you. Smuggle harvested organs to Titan. 135 kilograms of harvested organs. What the hell, dude? Why are there so many harvested organs? What have you people been doing? Okay, we're gonna, like, I, I need to get my deception up before I really take the smuggling stuff anyway, so it's fine. Let me get out there and do some piracy. Are you not in prison? Because I, I was able to uh, post bail for myself. Or, you know, I... I, Hello, everyone. I posted uh, my, my, my payout. Every Every time I see red the last talk. Talk. My guest tonight is one of the most notorious criminals in the cell system. What's up, Magnus? What's up, Shark? How you doing? For every major law enforcement agency in the galaxy. Selling organs to buy a 4090. <laughs> Let's Good see. Evening, Steal from the clinic on Deepala. Radiological amplifiers from the clinic. Accepting my invitation. Yes, well, being blindfolded and then grabbed... We'll go ahead and see what's in my cargo hold real quick. Facility isn't exactly what I call an invitation. Some kind of harvest well, festival or something? I'm oh sure my god, dude. I'm your request for an interview would come with some very specific conditions. Frankly, I was a bit surprised to receive any type of response at all. Would you mind telling me why you decided to do this interview? Because there comes a time in every pirate's life where they have to make an extremely important decision. Do they take a leap and become one of the most legendary pirates in history? Or do they simply sputter on, subsisting on freighters and deep space privateers? So are we to assume that you are taking the leap? That Jasper Cricks is moving on to bigger and better things in his life. That's spot on, Gail. That's exactly why you're here. Interesting. Well then, would you mind sharing with us exactly All right. what your particular needs entail? In due time. How much money do I have? Rush. 
I've got a hundred thousand credits. Nice. In fact, I'd say we have at least twelve hours. All right, guys, let's go board the clinic. So this is a, uh, it, it's the, the called the clinic, which is a hospital that's orbiting this gas giant. You are clear to dock at the clinic, the best medical facility in the settled system. I'm loving this view, seeing the clinic with the gas giant, the rings around it, the moons, and then just the, the, the local star just shining bright. I love that. board this bad boy hello I am here for your supplies ma'am I'm just you should inspect your ship for I understand that. Every I'm not blaming you directly It'll cause plenty of havoc. okay do I have stolen stuff we can sell stolen stuff to the trade authority I believe I guess I don't have anything stolen that they'll take right now okay uh, what did I pick up off my ship though I know I dropped a bunch of copper, which is fine. All right. Dr. Soldato, how long have you been here? Uh, about a year this place now. is highly if protected. You can see the turrets back, everywhere. It can't be that bad. <laughs> do, do, do. Hello, doctor. If you're thinking about going into medicine, just be really sure before you commit to it. Really. Sounds like someone regrets being My a doctor. Understand. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, here we are in storage. We have a robot and another doctor over here. We got to pick up what's inside of that without being spotted. Of course, it looks like this, like some of the stuff we can just openly take, others we can't. Oh, hey, um, I kind of want these slippers. Now that we have the slippers, guys, let's do a thing. Let's put on my my onesie. Oh wait, can I not wear the slippers? Come on, man. What do you mean? You can't wear the slippers? Okay. Alright, dude. I'll just drop them then. Just a man in his onesie. Holds that sandwich. Not old enough, man. Been caught tampering with a lock. Oh no! I'm reloading that. You saw that man running right at me. Does this game feel like next gen? Still on the fence about it. That depends on your own personal definition of next gen. Uh, I will say I've been playing video games for a long time, and I do feel like this game is an advancement over previous Bethesda games. But like when you say next gen, I mean, what does that truly mean aside from something that would be playable on a new console? Is was there truly does, anything that came out on a PS4 that was like a big advancement from PS3 aside from graphics? You know what I mean? I guess you'd say the same thing about PS5 versus PS4. And a lot of PS5 games are even playable on PS4. So I guess it depends on your own definition of next gen. I need you all to leave immediately. To make sure those samples get disposed of. Um, how about you dispose of that giant heat leech that's in here? Hmm? 
by God, your character's ugly. You take that back right now. You take that back immediately, sir. My character is beautiful. All right. I got caught tampering again. Damn it, men. Who actually caught me? Wait. Okay, so they started running at me and then just stopped. I don't know what happened there. Can I? Is there a door right here I can close? Hey there. Hey, how you doing? No, no, no. You keep walking. There's, there's, there's things out there for you to do. You go do your free star collective business. Yes, very good. Awesome. All right, this is just a corridor. There is no door here. <laughs> that thing is just grilling me right now. It's absolutely grilling me. cameras here I guess that kind of I guess that kind of sucks huh and they're very knife proof all right let's try let's try now Bum, bum, bum. Success. They didn't see me that time, baby. You see, there's money right here. I want to take that too, but it's only 140 credits, so I'm not going to risk everything over that. Let's make a save. Oh, now you're moving? Okay, dude. Yoinky. Yoinkers! That's mine now. Put that in my pocket. Thanks for the credits, dude. Probably shouldn't just kind of casually walk around with a big old combat knife in the middle of a hospital, huh? You guys saw nothing, okay? Yoink. Yoinkers. All right, let's go ahead and undock from this bad boy. We do have some goods on us now. Next question. What do we do next? Piracy in Cheyenne. Travel anywhere in the Cheyenne system. We gotta go commit some more acts of piracy over in Cheyenne. Which is right here. Uh, let's see. We got some stuff over here. Let me just fly over to Skink. Next gen is something that you can't do on previous gens, so a game like Starfield can't run on Xbox or PS4. I mean, what's going on out here? Freestar and Crimson Fleets. I'm not going to get involved. I'm not going to shoot any of them. But 
I will take the credits involved here. Wow, the Crimson Fleet actually won that fight. Oh, wait, good job, dudes. I don't know. Um, even for like a lot of games that are out on the latest consoles and such, I can't really think of much that like previous consoles wouldn't be able to do as far like the only the only thing would be like frame rate and graphics but i don't know if that truly defines like generational stuff per se outside of that i don't know I i'm weird about it because games have always been much more than graphics to me i have played plenty of games that have really poor graphics and have loved them dearly so like that 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 definition just feels weird to me you know what i mean i know it's you know everyone has their own judgments to cast but for me i don't think graphics really define generational leaps i don't know i'm weird i guess what's up game geek how you doing okay we got those credits now what do we need to do here we have to go get the free star discovery. Let's get on it. What background and traits did you choose? Um, I chose space scoundrel, I believe. And then for traits, I took introvert, wanted, and something else I can't remember right now. I want everything in your cargo hold right now. Excuse me? I don't think I heard you correctly. Listen, dude. Quit stalling and hand it over or else. You serious? Or else what? Well, make it easier for both of us and hand it over. Why the hell would I want to make this easier for you? Listen, dude. I'll turn your ship into a pile of wreckage. There's no need for that kind of talk. Losing a single load of cargo isn't that big of a deal. There's always more. There won't be more when people hear I hand cargo over to pirates. Damn now, it. forget it. I'm not giving you anything without a fight. All right. Um, oh, I got a bounty added. That sucks. All right, let's go. Get it. Look alive. Okay, we're gonna follow you up a nice little turn here. We're gonna do a hard lock onto your engines. And then we're gonna dock you. board they're probably not going to give it up without a bit of a fight now I got you. <laughs> oh i just <laughs> i didn't mean to do that I just threw, I just ran up to them and hit their hit them point blank in the face with a grenade. <laughs> Holy shit! My bad, my bad. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean for that to happen. Whoops. Whoopsie. Base trucker cargo wear. All right. All right. What do we see here? We got some of this stuff here. Thank you. What's in the cargo hold? Where is your cargo hold? There it is. Synthetic vaccines. Some credits. Batteries. Super cold magnets. Molecular smell. Sibs. Ostentatic manifold. And all sorts of other stuff. Cool. Thanks. Now, what about this ship? Can I just...
All right, you commandeered a new ship. If you land on a planet or grab jump to another star system, this ship will become your home ship. Any quest objectives or passengers in your pre home previous home ship will be transferred to your new home ship. You know, it's no wonder I was able to take this ship so easily. This thing is kind of, kind of terrible. Kind of bad. Anyway, um, I do have a bit of a bounty, which is a problem. I do have a bounty in the Free Star Collective space. Oh, you know what we could do? We could just bring this back to Crix. This is fine. Yep, and then the ship is going to autopilot back over there as well. You like the game so far? I do, Game Geek. That was just graphics. Look at Xbox being capped at 30 FPS. I feel like you would have to cut the graphics in half in order to probably, probably re remotely run on last gen. I mean, yeah, I do think that uh, performance should be higher. I, I do very much so agree with that. But again, there's been games running at, you know, upwards of even 240 FPS on PC for a long time. And so I guess that's where a lot of my mindset kind of is swayed. Because this, this, this type of stuff has been, like, happening for... You know, over a decade already people running games at very high frame rates you know the latest and greatest games at very high frame rates and so that's why i have a hard time using that as a generational yeah. definer no oh, i can't speak to you right now Okay, this Nova is fine though, because I have this other stuff that we can just sell real quick, and then we'll start that quest. It's cool. Me, you can look good and protect your Weapons ass at for the same all time. occasions. It's a twofer. If your credits are good, I'm open. Have that. Have that. Have that. And that. Have that. Those. These. One of them, one of them, and that too, that as well, and that, and those, all those, very good. All right, we sold all the stolen, stolen goods. We've made uh, right around 14k credits in that little time. Plus, we can sell this ship, which is going to give us, I'd have to imagine, right, at least a, a little bit. At least a thousand credits, I'm sure, if I have to register it and then sell it after. But if I don't have to register and can just straight up sell it, Thanks for making me it'll look be good. good. I would have had to kill you otherwise. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920 security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. Sounds like she'll be useful. I sure hope so. She might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. Right. Uh, any clue what the device looks like? Unfortunately, I have no idea. Like Neva said, it's a prototype, so it could look like anything. Once you're inside SY920 and you're behind their firewalls, you should pick through their computer system. With any luck, it'll point you the right way. Oh, and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, 
you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal because you're gonna need it. Understood. You don't care if I shoot my way into the place? Are you kidding? The UC's already painted giant red crosshairs on our backs. Keep Wei and his pals at Sis Def won't rest until we're dead. It's not like you can make them any angrier at us, right? Shoot the place full of holes if you want. Just bring back that calm spike. Understood. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. <laughs> okay, you'll make sure. More like get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. And you, get the hell out of here. And don't come back without that calm spike in your cargo bay. All right. We'll talk later. Let's speak with Jasmine. Might help me I don't with my mind ship. Helping, but... uh, I'd like to view and modify my All ships. All right. Let's... And then the Free Star Discovery is the one we just stole. It has a value of 7,472, and I do have to register it for 6,200. So we stole it, and we're gaining about 1,200 credits for it. We're gonna gain 1,200. Let me go ahead and make this my home ship. And then we can... How do I sell it to you? Where's the sell button? If you wanna stay under the radar, all business and... Let's see what ships you have for and sale. I need your cash. It's... I will say I kinda don't like that we have to like hop back and forth to make the sales. I forgot about this prison shuttle, too. That's a thing. Anyway, let's uh, let's go to sell. And then the free star discovery. Sell this. Sell this, please. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Enter. Sell for 7,472. Yes. So we just made a quick 1,200 on that. We're coming back here anyway, so why not? Why not? So that prison shuttle? No, I sold it to her already. I sold that to her yesterday. Do, do, do. PC is undoubtedly better than console, but the entry cost is better and the price of parts to build a mid or top line PC is too much for most people. Oh, I'm not debating that, Lanston. I never said that it wasn't Captain's that way. It's just control. me personally. It's I've always been more of a PC enthusiast and I have made always went out of my way to make my PC gaming life happen. You right. That's always been a thing feet. for me. And so for me first. to see generational gaps in things has been a much lesser noticeable thing because I've been running games at the highest possible quality for a very long time now. And that's not some type of elitist talk. That's just my level of hobbyism in gaming, right? I'm not debating that it's expensive. Surely I'm not. It absolutely is. But that's not the point here. That's not the conversation. Kinetics, Electromax. It's just when you do play on PC for a long time, when people talk about generational gaps between consoles, it's much harder to notice that because this is the better thing for me for so long already. That's all. Uh, I should sell this crate of vaccines. Who wants to buy it? Will you buy it? All right, make it quick. Just make it quick. Just make it quick. And uh, there you go. They're done here. Great. Okay, so we have 115,000 credits. Now, guys, I want I want to highlight something. A lot of people have been in my comment sections of my videos, my uh, my ship building guide video, saying that the the beginning of the game is a hard time to make money. Now, with that said. I have 115,000 credits on me, and I spent 60,000 upgrading my ship yesterday, which means since the beginning of the game, I have made 175,000 credits, and I am currently level 13. This is not hard to obtain. Getting level 13 is not hard to obtain at all. 
and I have already almost to obtain 200,000 credits already. Making money in this game is really not difficult if you know how to go about it. And it's not just piracy that you can make money on too. There are other factions that you can join that have missions that can pay you well too. You can join the Rangers. You can uh, you can go do stuff for Ryujin. You can do the main story and just go around and get resources and sell them en masse. You can make outposts and sell a bunch of stuff that way. Making money in this game is really not difficult. There's several paths you can take. I'm not even level 15 and I've made almost 200k credits. After the payoff, we headed straight to Every Neon. Captain, All right, let me think. Let me think. We need to go do our next mission. Yeah, planetary exploration makes money quickly as well. Meet Juan, Dayu, and New Atlantis. Let's go. What's up, Clapper? You know, uh, that Mathis guy hasn't actually chased down, chased me down at all yet, has he? Oh no, it crashed! Well, that's our second crash in three days, folks. Feels bad. That's not good. That's not good. How you enjoying the game so far? I'm having a good time. Sag. Oof size is large indeed. All right, hold on. Um, did it do an autosave right here? Do I still have the items that I need to sell? Let me look at my quest. Oh, it did autosave. Sick. Sick. I went the wrong way. Every time I see Randy smile, I want to punch Like not very nice. You want him you want to make Radley sad? Rude? All right. So that's a weird thing that just happened. I've not seen that happen before. So what happened here is the autosave got a little bit twisted. I was just on the space station in Crix called the Key. And I was, I was coming to New Atlantis. I was planning on traveling here for my quest. But it, I entered my ship, and I'm automatically in New Atlantis. If I exit the ship, am I still in New Atlantis? That's a very strange thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What the? And the paint job of my ship went back to default, too. My game just bugged out hard. Okay, this is a next level bug that I've not seen yet. This is my first time seeing this. Because the game crashed, it's causing some weird shit. My ship is no longer black and red like it's supposed to be. Speedrun strats, yeah. That was weird. That Folks, do me a massive favor if you haven't already. Leave a like on the video for me so that way YouTube will recommend the channel to more like-minded folks. We've got over 500 people in here. We could easily spike the likes up well over 300. Well over that, easily. If you enjoy the channel, you enjoy video games in general, hit that like button for me. I know, it's cringe when YouTubers ask, but it helps a lot. So, you know, just got to send out those reminders. I appreciate the love and support. What's up, May? How's it going? Nice hat, dude.
I don't use stairs. I take it your neighbor's new recruit? Um, BRT Cobra, I'm playing at 1440p, and then I can turn on the, uh, the FPS counter. There it is on the top right of the screen. I have a name, you know. Space Smeagol. And rest assured, if I ever need to remember it, I will. That's why 920 is one of my regular stops. So yeah, and liking is free too, that's Googles. true. Liking is very Mavis free. Mavis says you're after a piece of UC tech. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. Great, more rules to follow. Rules help establish trust. And I can't work with someone I don't trust. If I can be candid, for this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. You just bail if something happens? It's not personal. If you're caught, that entire installation will be on you. There's nothing I can do for you at that point. Except send flowers to your next of kin. How loyal are you to the fleet? Look, I know I don't have a lot of history with the fleet. But I'm putting my reputation and ship on the line for this. That alone should tell you enough. Got it. Good. Then we have a deal. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. And make right. sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. Uh Okay. We'll talk more on the ship. All right. Let's see. Let's meet her on the Jade Swan. All right. All right, dude. Let's just jump on down. You didn't hear this from me. You're right, I didn't hear it from you, dude. Oh, look at the size of this ship, dude. What the? Look at the size of this absolute unit. Okay. All right. I like the shield generator, the cargo. Wow, you've got a lot of cargo hold. Holy. Yep, you're definitely a smuggler. Only a smuggler needs that much cargo space. Look at the size of that grav drive. What the... Is that your grav drive or is that your reactor? Okay, this is your grav drive right here. Which means that's your reactor? Holy damn, dude. There's the fuel tank. That's one big ship. That is one big, big ship, dude. Uh, which settings are you guys recommending to play for mid-level PC? Yeah, I would just try medium and then adjusting based on your performance from there. Hello. Yes, what? That was weird. I'm taking these credits. It's not considered stealing, so all the better for me. Just looking around, seeing what kind of stuff we can snag. Oh, look at that. Yes.
You guys got a lot of, uh, a lot of business around here. Yoink. Glad you're in the fleet. If you weren't, I would have killed you already. Hey, you don't say that, man. You don't say that. He was just dropping casual threats. Always looking for the next mark. Oh, yeah? Okay. All right, so it says we need to go up. I don't see a way to go up. I, don't, I haven't found a ladder or stairs that go up. Okay. Hello. Hey. What's up, dude? Just kind of casually taking stuff out of your ship. Hope you don't mind. Man, this ship is this ship is complex, dude. Yeah, and this is very much so a ship that you as a player could make as well, guys. Keep that in mind. Pretty cool. I can just take stuff out of your cargo holds. What about the captain's locker? Where's that at? Can I take those goods too? Howdy. Hey. Hello. Hey. What up? I can just take the stuff out of the... That's 21,000 credits for free. We'll take the ammo, the digipix, Hippolyta. Yeah, dude. We'll just take this. Why not? What's it going to hurt? Certainly not me. All right, a few things to know. As a co-op, no, this is not multiplayer in any way. The military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Return your piece of cargo if you have to. Have an ultra wide. Does the game support three thirty-four forty by fourteen forty? Yes. I'm pretty good at staying quiet. That will serve you well here. Some people mistake silence for weakness or, at worst, compliance. But to me, it's the loud ones who leave themselves vulnerable. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, I am going to take care of a little bit of business before we leave. See you. I'm going to go pee. All right? I'm going to go pee. When I come back, Excuse me. when I come back, we're going to go ahead and fly on out of here. In the meantime, just enjoy the aesthetic of this... Uh, sci-fi spaceship okay if you haven't already left a like on the video make sure you do we're almost at 250 that's pretty great thank you guys very much i'll be right back
right, we're back. Let's go and get our business Pardon. done. Let me know when you're ready to leave. The time is now. All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY 920 immediately. I'll All take a seat right off. here. Routing power to engine and draft drive. All systems go. Jump the SY920 from here. Don't worry about your personal <laughs> ship. The fleet will make sure it's secure. One thing I will say that's kind of weird is the fact that she doesn't have to sit in a chair and buckle to down. My pilot while they're flying. Don't worry, Captain. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> Noted. Just get us there safe. Roger that. You've entered secure UC military space. Identify yourself or you will be considered hostile. This is Captain Juan Dayu, cargo class ship ID UC-7938. Requesting permission to dock. Identity confirmed. Prepare your ship for scanning. You're clear to dock at docking bay 2. <clears throat> Looks like we're clear. We'll talk more once we're docked. Hey, you should be looking forward, not at me, bro. I mean, he did say... He, he did just say he's very good at multitasking, but... I'm just saying, maybe look at where you're docking instead of me. My God. What an absolute Chad. <laughs> yes. what? What's up, monkey? Okay, we're in. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But, if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. People on Steam said it didn't support ultra-wide. Um, I mean, I tried loading it up and with ultra-wide settings myself and it worked, so I don't know. I do not know. Not sure what happened there. Maybe it's not supposed to work and it did for me, or maybe it's not working for them because they have improper settings or something. I don't know. I'm not truly sure. But we got that grav drive ready then. Very funny. But if you do get into trouble, try and use that quick wit to your advantage. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Okay. Do I have a skill point? I do. I... I'm going to put a point into stealth. I feel like that's going to be something I'm going to need here. This is why I kind of like to keep one point on standby in case I need anything on the fly. Is the pirate life easier? No, I've definitely had my trials and tribulations so you far. Great Swan, loading and unloading only. Stay clear of the military barracks. We need a lot of cargo to keep a station this size running. Okay, good talk. All oh, right, I am an enemy of the UC, so that's the thing as well. Do, 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 Speak to Juan. This is Captain Juan Dayu. In the cargo bay, just checking in. And you found the intercom. That's a start. If I'm not mistaken, the maintenance door should be in front of you. If you can find a way to open it, it'll get you past the first checkpoint. 
Corage found something from Bethesda that says, with Starfield now entering early access, we can confirm ultra-wide support is included as standard. Anyone with a 21.9 monitor can enjoy the buttery smooth spathe experience. There, yes it does. Very nice. Love to see it. Love to see it. Wasteland Angel, hello. Played yesterday, never one for photo mode, but damn, spent one hour getting my first perfect photo. The photo mode in this game is pretty decent, yeah. It's pretty decent. The photo mode is how I made a lot of the thumbnails for my videos that I put out for Starfield. Okay. There's a lot of ways to get through a locked door. Right. Pick a lock or pick a pocket. Shouldn't be too hard for a Crimson Fleet pirate to pull off. Anyway, the door will let you access the vents. Go up the vents and through the barracks. You should find a uniform there. Okay. The uniform should get you through the checkpoint and to the elevators. We'll talk again once you get to the command bay. What's up, Abdullah? How you doing? All oh, right, guys. I'm walking around this. <laughs> I'm, wa I'm walking around this UC uh, station in my freaking pajamas. Isn't my character lovely? Look at him. All right. Someone get the damn space Roomba out of the way, please. You, come get your vacuum. All right, this isn't this is an advanced lock, which means I can pick it open as long as I'm hidden. We are hidden right now. Let's see about opening this bad boy. All oh, right, now we're doing advanced business. Shoot. Um. There's only two here, and I don't have one that would fit that spot, so that's not going to be it. However, this could be something for down there. No, it's not for down there either, it looks like. Okay. All right. Could go right there. Okay, nothing doing here, nothing doing. That could work. Alongside that. So those two could be for the outer layer. Let's figure out the inner layer now. That's not going to work there. But that'll work there. Very good. Okay. Very good. We got this. Or do I? No, let's... Is that the wrong one? No, that's not what I wanted there. Oh, no, no, no. That one and that one. Okay, we're good. Ooh, confused myself, guys. I confused myself. We make a safe. We're in. Closed door behind us to help secure our safety. There's a space grub, Xeno grub rather. What is possibly detecting me? Oh, it might be the Xeno grub. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the Xeno grub. All right. Anyway. Okay, what's that one? Find an ensign uniform. Oh, that's an expert lock. I can't do that. look at your face they're gonna know something's up you're right dude they would never let someone that looks like me in the uc all right we're in the showers who just left their money laying around here what the
I need that guy to go away. What's up, Beast Modes? How you doing, man? Anything cool on the PC? Reminded all the personnel that the projects being developed in this station are highly classified and involve extremely sensitive info. As a loyal citizen of the UC and a member of the UC Navy, you are being entrusted not to share this knowledge with any outside party, including your families. Any disclosure of the activities, projects, or data on this station will result in an immediate dismissal and court-martial. For those in the cargo bay, an extra, remi extra reminder that only uniformed personnel are allowed in the mess hall and barracks. I've heard instances of contractors being allowed in the dining area, and that is strictly forbidden. Okay, so we're taking on the persona of Win Akasaka. Ensign matriculated to the Sword Military Academy after being recruited at a job fair. Received accommodations for marksmanship and physical fitness assigned to the SY at 920 following graduation. All right, let's put the pajamas away. Put on the, uh, the uniform here. Oh my God, dude, I actually look sick. All right. Okay. You have more than one save file? Yes. Okay, now we have to enter the command bay, but first, let's go around stealing some goods, huh? Is there anything cool around here? Do, do, do. Now our next goal is to realistically just get through all of this without talking to anyone. Let's go ahead and open this up, see if there's anything cool in this locker. Okay, that could be good there, that could be great there, that could be great there. Very nice. David Copperfield. Ooh, antibiotic taste, that's nice. Antibiotic paste is very nice. Hello, friend. Yep, I belong here. Surely, I belong here. Let me just... Yep. Everything's good here. Utility knife. Kind of wish I could use a utility knife as a weapon, man. I would love that so much. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. These guys don't have a whole lot going on. Yeah, nothing to see here. Everything's normal. Hold on, what did that say about the other nights? The other day when you invited me to the security checkpoint for some hand-to-hand -hand combat training, I was not myself. In fact, I took a blood alcohol test at the time. I think I could have actually proven this legally. As it stands, I cannot. I don't even remember the thing that didn't happen. So if you could clear this up with Leanna and tell her this non-fact, I'd appreciate it. P.S. I get that what didn't happen left a trail of physical evidence implying that it actually did happen. And maybe you can convince her it was basically nothing? Damn it, I'm screwed, aren't I? Uh-oh. Little bit of barracks drama. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Wow, that's actually a nice solstice. What the? We're going to take that so we can sell it. That's a, a higher level one. Okay, anything in here? Oh, just you. I'm gonna go. I gotta go. I can't be here. Oh, wait, it's making me go back through the vents. 
Okay, that's expert. I can't get in there this way. Salome, hello. Yep, all right. It really wants me to go through that expert door, or that expert uh, vent door, but I can't do that. Oh, here we are. I found it. No worries. Howdy. Hey, man. So, hey, since I belong here, can I just take this trauma pack? Thank you. I like hey, that. Can I ask you something? Sure. Go ahead. We have a full kitchen. Everything you could ever ask for in a star station. And here you are eating rations like we're trapped in a goddamn foxhole. I just like the way it tastes. Sorry. I mean, have you tried anything else? The sandwiches. The <laughs> He's sandwiches. grilling them about his food choices. I want to use the staple gun as a weapon, man. See, so that's one thing I feel like this game is missing. I haven't found a whole lot of, like, ridiculous weapons that you could possibly use in, like, Fallout, for example. Like, I know in Fallout New Vegas, for example, you could use, like, a rolling pin as a weapon, and that's hilarious. I would love to do a full playthrough of a game like this with ridiculous weaponry. State your business. Um, I need to report to the command bay for duty. Logging and sin level clearance. Go on ahead. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm in. What's in the box, dude? Anyone know what's in the box? Let's see. That could go there. This could go... Absolutely nowhere, actually. That's a fake. That's a fake. That could work there. And that could work there. So then, this one here, we need one, two, three... How about this? Would this work down here? Okay, we're good. Look at that, we've picked five locks, dude. Space Adept Kodama. Oh. Yoinkers! There's that expert level thing again. Surely this guy's not going to pay any attention to me. I'm going to take his maelstrom. Thank you for that. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's tough not seeing any action, but securing a station like this is a pretty important duty. Yeah, none of that's worth taking, so you're fine. You're lucky, bud. You're lucky. There's another box. Wait, I missed a box somewhere. Did I? I don't see it. I don't, I, whatever, it's fine. We're going forward. There's my ID card. Read it. We move on. All right. We can find an intercom to speak to Juan. There we are. Um, made it to the command bay. Good. And no alarms or warnings on the comps. Music to my ears. If you found a uniform, be sure to put it on. They'll provide some cover. Don't know what you're after, but I'm guessing there'll be another checkpoint. This far down, you might need a clearance code. I could just kill everyone that access things that way. See, that's much more my style, but I'm not trying to get, like, hunted down and get, like, a huge bounty. I can use the uniform I picked up and walk my way past the guards. I don't like deliberately drawing attention to yourself, but a disguise is never a bad idea. The uniform won't be enough, though. You'll need to find a computer with the code. Try the security office. 
You likely have a computer there that has what you need. Going down for now. We'll talk again once you've located your target. All right, all right. What's up, Anthony? How you doing, dog? Well, you better hurry. You know what they say, Marine. Surely, if I just kind of make some fun noises and walk around, no one's going to have any questions, right? Before we go that way, let's check out over here. We need the code. I need the code to get in. Guys, we're 11 likes away from 300. Lost, Ensign. Any likers? I appreciate all the likes you leave on the on the video. I hope some of you out in a big way. Again, I know. YouTube are asking for likes again. Annoying. I get it. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to grow my channel, uh, you know, around different video games with people from all over the world. So I appreciate you being here for it. Oh, you know what? It, it, I don't even have to, like, steal that. That's not considered stealing. However, opening this will likely trigger something, so let's just play her safe. Let's play her safe here. Um, hmm. Eight seventy nine credits, and we got the security pick pick five locks done. I'm happy about that. I am pleased. Hey. Yes. Nothing. Enjoy the long weekend. Love to hear it. Look at that. 300 likes on the video. That's big. Thank you, guys. I hear they're bringing in some hotshot test pilots to the station. They should have asked me. I flew for the Vanguard. I would have saved them the trouble. Top secret project. Secrecy on this project is unlike anything I've ever seen. Hell, I just feel weird typing this. I'll probably delete later. People rarely exit the engineering bay elevators except when they get fired. The other day, some poor engineer named Eubanks came out of Engineering Bay 4 with a box. They pr probably ship him off to Aaron A1 and bury him in it. Okay, write that down. Engineer named Eubanks came out of Engineering Bay 4 with a box. They'll probably ship him off to Aaron A1 and bury him with it. So Eubanks, Aaron A1. Deleted? It's been deleted. So is this one. Shit, man. Someone hacked his computer. Da, da, da. Whatever projects are being worked on here must be incredibly important. Key cards at every elevator, checkpoints on every floor. The CEOs don't tell us anything except when to eat, patrol, and sleep. Fine by me. The less I know, the fewer secrets I have to keep. Ensign Pallavi. What is Ensign Pallavi doing that requires him to type all day? The worst part is he has one of those annoying one-finger typing techniques that is equivalent to paint drying in zero gravity. Is he writing a novel? Because no single military report requires that much typing. He's made it so I can't even think because all I do is rage. Well, two can play at that game. I'm just going to type loudly and self-importantly until I can no longer keep the chapters and his story straight. No great fiction will be written by your hand tonight, Ensign Pallavi. Not if I can help it. Take this, Pallavi! Nice, dude. <laughs> 550 plus watching, make it 500 likes, easy peasy. I mean, you know, not everyone's going to leave a like. That's the, you know, that at the end of the day, that's just the way it is. I just try to remind people to do so if they are enjoying their time here. Stop right there, Ensign. All right, Ensign. Why aren't you at your post? Oops. Who's your commanding officer? Oops. Only authorized personnel are allowed here. Oops. I report directly to Commander Natara. Only senior officers report to the commander. Something doesn't seem right. Look, everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. Mm, I'll be the judge of that. All right. Do you even know who I am? Because if you did, we wouldn't be having this argument. You think that's going to work on me? Don't you have anything better to do than ride my ass? I'm starting to think ah. you're trying to get away with something. You're clearly not authorized to be here. Which can only mean you're an intruder, and we shoot intruders on sight. No, you don't. You know why? Because quick load. <laughs> God damn it, dude. I'll give you a dislike. You just made me buy premium Starfield at 85 pounds. No, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Gotta be some better food around here. 
It wasn't me. Dun, 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 dun. Let's just ignore that guy, okay? Let's just not go near that guy. He's very testy. Do, do, do. Maybe I've been watching too many vids, but this station scares the crap out of me. I hear footsteps laying the vents like someone's moving around inside of them. Someone or something. I know we're not allowed to bring in custom firepower, but I'm not going to be let some excessively alien-looking creature get the best of me. I got some weapon mods smuggled in my personal effects, and I just need to assemble them without the Lieutenant or Commander Natara noticing. Oh my god, those are explosive rounds. What the hell are you doing, brother? What are you doing, brother? That looks like it'll fit there. Very nice. Right there's good. You can go right about there. And you can go right about there. Modified arc welder. Hmm. Anyone down for the zap zaps? What's up, Padrone? An office sim? No, we're actually um sneaking around a United Colonies barracks with some high-level top secrets classified things going on. And they don't know I'm an imposter. How you doing, man? I'm just spending a lot of time going around, like, taking all their stuff. You know what I mean? As as a pirate does. Tranquility Lemon. You know, um, these guys have a lot of digipics. Hold on, before we do that. Doors closed. What's in the box? I have this, like, undying need to know what is in every single box. I just... I feel like I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I didn't figure that out. You know what I mean? Uh, that's not going to work there. There we are. Yoinkers. Oh my god, I have to hack this too? So much hacking. Dun dun. Nope, that's not going to work. But it will work right there. And this will work right there. That's gorgeous. Okay, for checkpoint access, please retrieve a clearance code based on your last name and rank. Uh, what, what was my name? I can't remember what my name was, but okay. On sign AK-127C. Write that down, AK-127C. Surely we're going to need that information shortly. That's a master lock. I can't get in there. I'm sad. Probably going to cry myself to sleep about it tonight. Got to buy a new GPU. This game is challenging at 2080 Ti with a 34, 3440, 1440p monitor is a pain even on high settings. Ultra not happening. Yeah, I'm outdated. Things are getting to a point where 2080 Ti's are kind of, you know, outdated a little bit, Marine. unfortunately. I've got a code. All right, Ensign. Let's hear it. AK-127C, brother. Sorry, Ensign. Code doesn't match. Oh. What the hell was my name? Uh, can I try again? Need your clearance code, Marine. I've got a code. All right, Ensign. Let's hear it. Um, I don't want to trigger any alarms. So let me go actually go look at the other codes again real quick. I can't remember what my, my, uh, identity's name is. I forgot. NG983P or 
ZX321D. You could try playing it like medium and then tweaking different like shadow settings and stuff too, right? Like there's stuff that you could tweak to make it so it does better. All right, NG983P ZX321D. My day's all right, Dustin. How are you, man? Need your clearance code, Marine. I got a code, dude. All right, Ensign. Let's hear it. It's going to be that NG983P, brother. Sorry, Ensign. Code doesn't match. Oh, my God. I'm really bad at this. I wish I remembered my, my character's name. Like, I, I need that. Need your clearance code, Marine. I got a code. All right, Ensign. Let's hear it. See, if I miss it the third time, they're going to lock me out. But I remember. ZX321D. You're clear, Ensign Zeremi. Zeremi is my last name, damn it. Sir, yes, sir. I look like a Zeremi, don't I? You know, you'd think that maybe if I missed my code the first time, they'd be like, uh, trigger the alarms, folks, because something's up here. But they're just kind of dumb. Commander Natara, test flights for the latest prototypes are ready to go. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 ba. We're gonna take all your goods. Oh, some monies. Advanced Star Roamer Space Helmet. Yoink. Space Rogue Muscle Gear. What the hell is even that? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. If you weren't assigned to this level, it's Don't be mad at me. Yeah, there's not much of value in here anyway. You're fine. Da, 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 da. We'll take those. Thank you. We're really robbing this place blind. We just got to avoid walking too close to any of these people because they, they don't recognize me. Yep, there's the commander. Let's avoid speaking with you. We Robin? You know it, dude. You know it, Kai. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, some money. Oh, hold on. Before we actually mess with this, uh, let's make another quick save. Because that guy's over there. Okay, he's not looking. We open the door. Very good. The door is open. Projects. Com Spike. Okay, let's see. Active Gabriel Vogel. Engineering Bay 4, Lab Number 4, Project Lead and Permissions. Project Lead is Dr. Gabriel Vogel. All inquiries requiring, re regarding the comm spike should be routed through him. All other matters should be directed to Commander Natara or the highest ranking officer on station. Note, Level 4 clearance should only be accessed with Commander approval. We need Ensign Plus for security clearance. Upgrade security clearance. There we go. Activating elevator clearance protocols, authorizing override, engineering bay 4 elevator clearance granted. Please report to Dr. Vogel for further guidance. Project proposal. Sensitive receiver capable of picking up communication signals and decrypting them on the spot. Very nice. A minimum of 50 AU. God damn. Uh, da, 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 da. We got another page. Okay. What is this other stuff, though? UCE 85 Svalin? Proposal. Create smart shielding designed to offer better efficiency and power economy for larger starships. Okay. 
Rather than generate shield power for all modules, the intelligent shielding would divert power on the fly based on predictive algorithms, taking advantage of data rooted in classical Bayesian interference inference and time series modeling. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Bayesian? 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 I have no idea. By calculating a number of high probability factors, such as distance, enemy ship capabilities, and likely targets, the system would anticipate and generate shielding for specific modules before an attack occurs, rather than rely on in-the-moment computations that are too slow to be practical. Better, more concentrated shielding, more efficient energy consumption, increased power supply for other systems. And then what's the two, sir? Guided missile targeting system that offers surgical ballistic damage to enemy spacecrafts. The use case for the system is to debilitate targets without destroying the ships themselves, disabling enemy spacecraft without harming systems or crew, allowing for better recovery of resources and prisoners, more efficient use of weapons, increasing overall cost effectiveness. Okay. You guys got that research going. Would you say the fact that you can't land spaceships, etc., affects the gameplay in a negative way, or does it not matter? Uh, for the goal of what this game is trying to achieve, I don't think it matters. I really don't think that manually taking control of the ship and, like, landing it that way truly matters here. I'll put it like this. A lot of people like to do that in certain games, and then after a certain amount of time, they stop doing it. They'll do it, like, you know, 10, 20 times, and then they're like, okay, I'm just gonna let it do it automatically now. I truly do feel it's just one of those small things that people try to find something to complain about. It's fine to like that type of thing. I mean, I like that type of thing too, and it would be cool to see it. But all the same, would I keep doing it every single time? Absolutely not. That would become tedious. Not to change the subject, but are we concerned about the potential leaks? No. Until you can provide more substantial proof, We'll simply monitor the situation at the cargo bay. For now, I've recommended to Dr. Vogel to contact me immediately if he identifies any suspicious behavior. Okay. So they're on to the idea that something is happening and they're they're sus about it. They're suspicious. We upgraded our clearance, so we should be able to get right on down there. Rough day for me. Starfield decided to delete my save files. I was four and a half hours in. That's the first case I'm hearing of this. I'm sorry it happened. It, that is, unfortunately, that's not an uncommon thing with a lot of new games, though. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry that happened to you. Bye, you here. Cargo's almost unloaded. We'll be departing shortly. But I'm your cargo. You are, and I've delivered you just as the Gato asked. That being said, I can stay in orbit for a short while. I'll need to send word to Delgado anyway, if you don't get off that station. But it looks like you'll need to find your own way off the ship. That doesn't mean you're trapped. On a station this big, there are bound to be other vessels you can steal. As a member of the Crimson Fleet, I trust you can handle that. I've made it this far, I can sneak my way off. You've made it this far without engaging in combat, I trust you'll have no issues moving further. It was an honor to work with a true professional. Good luck. If you make it out alive, next time you're at the Nova, I'll buy you a drink. So she's just leaving me here. Kind of messed up, bud. Kind of messed up. Let me catch up on chats. What's your honest opinions of the game so far? Can't believe IGN only gave it a 7 out of 10. Uh, ben, I have a review video covering the major aspects of the game and giving my own thoughts on them, if you'd like to check that out. But overall, I think it's a good game. Is there anyone in this room? There is. There's a person over there. Do, 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 do. Anything important here? Dr. Vogel. Not sure what to make of Dr. Vogel's request. Delivered on paper napkin to turn his laboratory into a non-Euclidean space. He said you would know the details, but doubt. somehow I doubt that. As much as I love the Comspike project from an intellectual standpoint, I miss working with you and Dr. Ames. 
I'm hoping Project Cloud Strike can get greenlit and we can get the band back together. Should I just take this to Commander Natara? I've never met her bef never before, but I feel like my concerns are valid. At times, Dr. Vogel doesn't seem like he's all there. There's a typo. And yes, Sandra, that their typo was unintentional, but I'm keeping it. Okay. Fair enough. That makes you wonder if there was... Oh, hey. Nothing? <laughs> makes me wonder if that was a typo that was, like, put there intentionally, or if they just kind of accidentally had a typo and then decided to own it anyway. Like, from a design standpoint, not a lore standpoint. What's in the box? How many hours do you foresee spending on this game? Well, let me show you. Right now, I have 97.8 hours. And that was at the last update about an hour ago. So we're at just about 99 hours. I'm still having a very good time with it. So I can see myself spending a couple more hundred hours on this game at least. Expert lock, unfortunate. Of course, I do wonder about that door over there, too. So, what's this big project you're working on? Well, I can tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Really? Couldn't you just trust me? No, right out the airlock you go. But I try my best not to enjoy it. Well, this is interesting. The other door was kind of unlocked and we just kind of waltzed in. Cool, right? Cool. Surely that's very nice. All right, we need one, two, three more for this. Nothing we have here will really fit that, though, unfortunately. One, two, three, four. Nope, none of this will really fit that either. Damn. How about the inner side here? No, I think this one might actually be useless. Okay. Let me try that there. One, two, three, four, five. This is one, two, three. Yeah, that's not really great either. Damn, man. Damn, man. Okay, that could work there. One, two, three, four. 99 hours, you done with the main campaign? I have barely touched the main campaign, dude. Barely touched it at all. I have done just enough campaign to make it so I can go play some more stuff in the game itself. Yeah, this is not going to work here either. Man, this one's actually bending my brain a little bit, guys. This one is bending my brain. All right, those are working for me right there. That's good. Those are working on the outer layer. We like that. We like that. Let's see this one now. We have one, two, three... There it is. We got him. That one bent the brain a little, dude. Let's see what's in this PC. Comp spike overview. Argue that having advanced knowledge of enemy tactics, plans, and intentions is of far greater value than superior firepower or numbers. Historically, this has proven so, and thus is the opinion of Dr. Vogel and his team that the development of Project 86 should be prioritized over projects designed 
to provide a brute force solution to potential war. Mm hmm. This project's a pretty damn big deal, huh? Ah, this is good news. This goes down. Right, there's our guy. All right, what does it exactly we need to do here? Locate the comm spike? That guy have it in his pocket or something, or what? Oh. I mean, you know, I don't think me being here is illegal. Yeah, we're good. I don't okay. recognize your faces. No, I'm just, I'm just kind of, just kind of vibing. You know what I mean? You don't need to recognize me. I mean, I don't. I'll be honest with you. I don't really recognize me either. Have you seen me? Can you talk to the commander? Get me reinstated. The tower is doing you a favor, Marcin. Would you prefer to court martial? Dishonorable discharge? Because all of that was on the table. I would have preferred things to remain as they were, so I made a mistake. But my work on the comm spike was and is irrelevant. Dr. Vogel will do just fine without you. Besides, we both know the only reason you were on that project was to bloat the budget so we could embezzle the creds. And to that end, your share of the funds should be transferred to your gal bank account shortly. What am I supposed to even say to that? Those funds are the reason I don't have a job. You can start by saying thank you. Hell, I even warned you not to poke the bear. A commander Natara being the first time of the analogy. Aaron was right. I should have never even been. <laughs> yeah, you screwed up. Royally. But... Protect Dr. Gom and all the King's subjects by keeping your mouth shut from now on. Yeah. Hey, you want my advice? Not some planet at the edge of the galaxy where you can relax for a bit. Lean back. <laughs> really dig your feet in the sand. Just get your mind off all this. Oh, and stop with the sad puppy dog face, too. <laughs> Makes you look guilty. <laughs> and what kind of face am I supposed to have? The face of someone who got away with it. Conspiracy from within. Okay, we're here, guys. We're here. Hmm. Intercepting transponder data in the Hoffa system might be promising. Autocorrelation models results in risk increased by a magnitude of uh, two. But we won't tell Commander Natara. What she doesn't know won't kill her. Do, 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 do. in here did you not see the sign i'm the security team i need you to hand over the comm spike the comm spike but i can't just hand it to you it's a module for a ship it's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports we're still in the testing phase running decryptions across a variety of signal types but the results so far have been very promising it can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. That's cool, man. Uh, decryption on that level has vast military applications. No wonder the UC is interested in it. Yes, it's not quite cracking the Enigma code, but it will give us a significant tactical advantage. We'll be able to infer everything from battle plans to meal consumption. Not that we'd care about that sort of thing, uh, outside of the effects of diet on combat readiness. And yes, 
There are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts, and the occasional traumatic injury here and there, but it's all part of the adventure. Hey, Bobo, I'm glad you enjoy the videos. Yeah, we did have a couple crashes at night, uh, 88 and 90 ish hours. Very true. Didn't talk to someone about spaghetti. I'm cooking it tomorrow. Damn, I, I want spaghetti in my life, dude. I really need spaghetti soon. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll make some in a couple days. I have some leftover food I got to get through first. Yo, okay, Cap, what's up, man? How you doing? Hello there. Sounds like it's not entirely ready. Oh, it's ready. We're long past the inference stage. Statistical models can only go so far. And now that we've corrected the prior mishaps, it's time for real flesh and blood pilots to stress test the systems. The kind aren't afraid to make the necessary sacrifices. In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present our findings to Mast. Okay, we're gonna betray Juan. There's no time. The captain of the Jade Swan is trying to steal the comm spike. I need to secure the prototype ship immediately or spaced. If things go wrong, I handle space pretty well, so I'm the perfect test pilot or persuade. I'm one of those new test pilots, actually. We're gonna go with spaced. Hmm. You do seem to have increased resistance to hypoxia. I can tell by your breathing patterns and your cavalier attitude. We need to get you on the next test flight immediately. You'll need a uniform and a terminal password to authorize a flight and get past Natara's cumbersome checkpoints. The uniform you can get in the locker room area, the password you get from me. You'll find the prototype ship at docking bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. And of course, best of luck. You are doing science a great service by undertaking this sacrifice. Hey, no problem, bud. I got you covered. Don't worry about that. But here's a fun thing. I think we just doubled up on the uh, the password and stuff. Yep, we sure did. <laughs> I stole a docking port 8 key card and he just gave me one. And then he gave me a password and I stole a password. So, yep, doing pretty good. And we're just going for, you know, the uh, the insurance. You know what I mean? So you know what? I almost took this earlier, too. I should stop letting my career define myself. Absolutely. Why is it taking me all the way to the vent? <laughs> hey, tech the vent, the ventilation ducts. All the way down there. All right. Since we're here, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and put on the. Is it a spacesuit? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay, I am ready to fly this ship. I am ready for it. Eh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pick that when so many eyeballs are on me over here. I'm just gonna take the creds. Keep making my way downtown. <clears throat> nope, nope, nothing. Anything cool in here? Okay, I don't want I don't I don't wanna keep like picking every single lock to ever exist in the game. Fish worker wetware. Okay, hey, I remember that room. I'm not going in there. Yep, not going in there. There is a safe in there, though. There is indeed a safe in there. 
Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Bum, bum, bum. Plug it in. Plug it in. Okay. I'll take the med pack, thank you. Take the credits. You know, these people leave a lot of money. Oh, there's a sandwich. Yoinky. Yoink. Please fix. Oh good, I'm glad some systems are not functioning properly on this ship. That's great to hear. We love that. Ah, some credits, some rivets, ammo. Hallucinogens, love that dude. They got they got drugs on this ship. Let me just close that up. Let's pop a squat. Prototype ship, you are not cleared for takeoff. What's going on over there? Hmm. On dock. Ships. Secure the prototype. Nope. Does this thing have any weapons? It's got lasers and cannons. Um, shit. I'm gonna die. I don't think I can just jump out of this system when I'm about dead, right? There's no way this works. There's no way I can just go. That's an unexplored route. So it means we gotta go to the Cheyenne system first, or at least to Wolf. Oh, I can jump. Okay, it will let me jump. Elden Ringer Starfield, they are not comparable, dude. Not even for a single second. Prototype ship, you are not cleared for takeoff. What's going on over there? Uh, nothing, man. Just, just doing a little bit of undocking. You know what I mean? All ships, secure the prototype. We gotta go. We must go. Let me just get out of this system. Let's just go right over to the wolf system straight away. Come on, go, go, go. We're out of there. Oh no. Why is that I'd hunt you down for some last time we spoke on the key. Why now? There'd be hell to pay. You got me kicked out of the Crimson Fleet, and now it's time for me to take everything from you. Mathis, Mathis, listen. We can work this out. It's too late for that now. I almost made it into the Crimson Fleet. I've got to crack at some real money. Then you had to open your big mouth. You stole everything from me. And I'm here to steal it all back. Mathis. Kill him. Leave nothing left but space dust. Mathis, buddy. It doesn't have to be like this. Buddy, old pal, listen. It doesn't have to go down like this, dog. We could very, very easily just be friends about it. Okay, who's shooting me in the ass? You gotta go. I'm using 
using a test ship, okay? A test ship. This thing is not combat ready. Oh, we are bumping holes, dude. Bumping holes. Don't worry about it. Later, Mathis. Outmaneuver, fools. Outmaneuver, these fools. Listen, man, this is a, this is a, uh, an experimental ship. <laughs> I do like the cannons on it, though. You don't even have missiles? Nope, I don't even have missiles on this bad boy. Oh, my cargo hold is very full, so I guess we just try to go get their money if they have any. A blind bet. That's the one Mathis was in. Um... My cargo hold is very full, so I can't really take any of that, unfortunately. Well, I guess we can tell everyone that uh, Mathis attacked us and actually lost to an experimental ship. Okay, let's uh, let's jump over to the next system then. What is that? Etheria ruins. Let's we'll keep that in mind. I need to get to the Crick system now. Proving you should have been kicked out. True. Very true, man. Right, let's dock this bad boy. Why need weapons when you can go faster than any bullet? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Level 14, yeah. Made it to level 14 there. Well, well, well. Hey. Welcome back, Rook. Looks like you got a new toy for me. Go on in and give everyone the lowdown. We'll take care of things from here. All right. That's a real nice ship you brought in. I can't wait to tinker with it. So You're I, welcome. You see security on my tail and my grab drive just came I will say um, that whole the way that all broke down does speak to the com competency of the UC versus you know Mathis and some former pirates in his crew. I've got bounties in every system. Idiots will never catch me. I don't know if that's something to be proud of, dude. The whole idea is to avoid bounties. Nice to know Neva was right about you. It's good to have a promising rookie with the fleet. You weren't much help. Not that I needed it. Now you're starting to sound like a real pirate. Anyway, I believe I owe you a drink. It's the last time I'm paying, of course. Because if Dalgado's right about Crix's legacy, you've earned more than your fair share already with that calm spike. Okay. Did Delgado clue you in on the cum spike? Yeah. Although, I get why you didn't give me the details. If I had known this was about the legacy, I might have asked for a bigger cut. Alright, legacy is as good as ours. Sounds like you're on board as a true believer. I have to admit, the way things are going, I'm starting to believe myself. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. 
Now that you've had your drink, and my debt is paid, it's time for you to give Delgado the good news. Hold on. Let me drink my drink, bud. Rum diluted with water with a twist of lemon and just a pinch of gunpowder. Plus 20 carry capacity and minus 30 O2 recovery for 10 minutes. Let's drink it up. Delicious. Tasty. Need something. Did they really put in that quote? The fleet is family. Need Stealing something? Classic. Classic Bethesda quote. Need something? What's up, Eric? I feel like I have a lot to sell, so let me get on that first. Yeah. All right, make it quick. I've got schematics to order. Fine. Hey, Melinda, what's up? Wow. A lot of money in our pockets after all that, guys. A lot of money in our pockets after today. Let's see. I should probably put on my spacesuit so I know exactly which ones They're are mine, here. which ones are not yeah. mine. Would be the right play here. Mark one pack is good. Star Roamer Space Helmet is the one we want. I actually think that's a new helmet. Didn't we, didn't we previously use the Mark 1 helmets? Or no, we never got a Mark 1 helmet. It was just a Mark 1 pack. Either way, good stuff. Those are equipped now. We can now sell the rest. Eight. Please tell me you know exactly what materials you need. Show you the crippling skull in its ranks. I already know the arrow to the knee reference there, if that's what you're trying this to point out to me. It. I showed on stream yesterday myself. Uh, space suits. Get rid of those. Axe, get rid of that. Don't want that one. rid of those you only have 500 monies left dude you only have 500 monies left mm -hmm. there you go positron battery reactive gauge i can sell these zero wires i've got a ton of those already microsecond regulator All right, that cleared out a lot of my inventory. I'm, I'm pleased. Whatever. Whatever. All right, Delgado, my man. My dude, my guy. Jasmine tells me that you not only brought us the com spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed. Thought the fleet could use some extra parts. Yeah, yeah. Nice try, Rook. We know you didn't have a choice. <laughs> Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. She gave you some really high praise. Said you were a pro. And from what I hear, receiving praise from Juan Dayu is quite an accomplishment. All in all, a job well done. Now, on to the business at hand. Jasmine, are you there? Yep, I'm here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Com spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. Keep me posted. All right. That leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jennerdyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. We get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. 
is there a way to easily travel to any marketplace to sell loot junks? Um, not that I know of, but I can say that there's almost always a trade authority kiosk at every major place that you could land. Like if you say, if you're landing in, um, any city like Aquila or Neon or, uh, what's the other one? What's the, the starter one called? New something. There's all, there's all, always those tall yellow kiosks and they have 5,000 credits, which means you can sell up to 5,000 credits worth of goods to them. Those are always available in like every major city. You so all you do is talking. just land real quick and then boom, you can sell stuff, sell stuff and then get back out there. Okay. What's the conduction grid? It's the giant shroud that covers the entire city. Big ugly thing that Jenardyne uses to absorb lightning strikes. When you arrive in Neon, I'm sure your contact will fill you in with all the boring details. All right. I have faith that Jazz can get the tech to work. you damn right she can. My girl can piece together a jump engine with her eyes shut. Literally, I've seen her do it. Lost good money on that bet. All right, let's not get carried away, neighbor. Now, why don't you give us the info on our Neon contact? Hey, Sloane? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. She's had her deft little fingers on the pulse of Neon for some time now. Whatever info you need, I guarantee she can get. Estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward, we all split the cash. Okay. I trust you weren't implying anything with that comment. You'll find I rarely imply things. In fact, I take pleasure in declaring my words straight to your goddamn face. Here is an example. I want you to do everything Estelle asks. Follow her instructions to the letter. She is valuable to the <laughs> fleet. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. I'd say don't keep her waiting, but chances are she won't mind. Girl loves her liquor. And keep your eyes on the price. Neon's one big distraction for people like us. So I want you focused. We are one step away from Quix's legacy. And we cannot afford any screw ups. All right, that's another level up, I believe, too. Now we gotta go to Neon. I've not been to Neon yet on this character. Neon is a very cool city. It looks like the FPS thing just bugged out. Now it's just a black box on the top right of the screen. Let's see if I can fix it. And it looks like Shadow Play just kind of died too. All right, looks like Shadow Play is no longer going to work for us. I've been having a lot of issues with Shadow Play on uh, the latest couple of drivers. I'm not sure what's going on there. Started playing this last night. Nice, Sloan. Are you looking to start something? Do I have Reva Tuner on? I can't remember. Yeah, there we go. So I do have Reva Tuner. You can see on the top left now if you'd like. Back to the old JPS Loot Goblin. Oh my god! <laughs> my ship is so bugged! Oh my god, let's reload that. That is hilarious. <laughs> it looked like my ship was just a hab unit in the docker. What is Shadowplay? It's NVIDIA software. NVIDIA software that's used for like recording and uh, streaming. Jasmine tells me I'm impressed. Alright, we gotta burn through this again. Should have taken the compliment, Rook. Okay, so one either way, whatever you choose there, down. she has something negative she to say anyway. From what I hear. Now. Yo, Jasmine, Joker, what's there? up, man? How's it going? Keep me posted. All right. There's a corporation. We get our hand. You damn right, she Mogger. All right. Now, why don't you get to meet her? She's had Estelle is one of them. If I want something done. 
No, no, no. She is valid. Estelle will be with. I'd say. And keep your eye. We are one step. All right. There we go. <laughs> that was a very weird visual bug. I should have just flew around like that. I want. I should have just stuck it. You know. Let's make a save. Let's see what happens again. Your ship did some shadow play of its own. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm doing all right, Joka. I'm doing all right, man. Thank you for asking. What's up, Robin? What's up, Cameron? Just sub to you from one of your Elden Ring randomizer playthroughs. Just saying hello. Enjoy Space Skyrim. Yo, Cameron, thank you, man. I'm glad you're enjoying it. And thank you for coming by to say, hey, man, that means a lot. Yep, it, dude, this bug is still here. I'm going to fly around like this. This is hilarious. Very cool. I am a, um, I have a cockpit. I have two hab units and a docker. This is my spaceship. <laughs> you on max settings? Yes. Nice ship. Thanks, dude. This is, this is an interesting, interesting bug. It looks like it's purely visual, but. Okay. All right, let's go to neon. I have a 3,000, a 3,000 credit bounty with the Freestar Collective. So I can't go there safely. Uh, let me go to another spot where I know there is a thing I can do to pay it off. I, you know, actually, I'm fine with paying these bounties because I have made so much more money then the bounties are worth like 3,000 credits for a bounty is nothing. The most advanced camouflage systems of the future. <laughs> I will. Thank you. Sounds good, Joka. Thank you for stopping by, man. Good to see you. All right, so let's see. Like, this is all I can see of my ship here on the ground. Man. It looks like we uh, we also sold some camouflage systems from the UC Starbase, huh? What a ship, dude. What a ship. What's the scale of the map? Okay, so here I am on the planet Mars in the solar system. You know, the fourth planet of our own local solar system. Right? So we open up the map. This is our solar system. This is, you know, Earth is right here. Where are you? Earth is right there. There's Luna. There, You know, Luna is our uh, local moon. Mercury, Venus, blah, 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 so on and so forth. There's, you know, Saturn, Jupiter. We go out. And this is what's called the star field. The star field. The field of stars. All of these are different systems with their own unique number of planets that have their own unique number of moons. And you can see there's a whole lot of them I have not been to yet. They have some binary systems. There's even a trinary system right there. I think there's a couple trinary systems. There's a whole bunch of... Oh, there's Bannock. Bannock and Bannock Secondus. And we're going to be going there soon. There's Alpha and Beta Marae, Procyon, you know, we got Delta Pavonis, uh, we have Alpha Centauri, a lot of people know of that one already. There's the Tau Ceti system. I actually recognize a lot of these names from playing Mass Effect too. There's the Sirius system, there's a Sagan system. Yep, there's Sagan. Yeah, pretty cool, right? And all of those have their own, like, unique number of planets and moons and all that going on the only things that you cannot land on are the gas giants everything else you can land on it's 
Sagan? Yep, the Sagan system, man. Pretty cool. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Guys, we're just a few likes away from 400. If you're enjoying your time here, make sure you hit that like button for me. It helps out a lot. In fact, all the people that have discovered the stream for the first time today, and there's a lot of you, a lot of new subscribers coming in today. Thank you for hitting that sub button as well. Welcome to our community, man. Glad to have you all here. Okay, let's pay the 3,000. Easy. And now we don't have to worry about that bounty anymore. Baldur's Gate 3 will get game of the year. I actually really hope so. I really hope so. I think they deserve it. Sagan system in honor of Carl Sagan, yes. You know, Josh Meadows gifting a membership. The first gifted membership of the stream today. Thank you very much, man. Going out to Agilon Cole. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you for the generosity. Game of the Century. It is an excellent game. I enjoyed it too. Um. Oh damn, the rest of the ship just doesn't exist right now. I mean, I can just move through the ship. Wild, wild bug. I subbed late last night at work. Watch your stream last night after it was over. Very nice, dude. The ship is all bones for sure. All right, now that we paid that, let's put a point into our grav, and now we're going over to Neon. Kai, thank you for the gifted membership as well. Who's that one going out to? Kai gifted a membership to Patrick Capello. That's KCAP. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it, Kai. Thank you, dude. Yeah, this year has been insane for gaming, for sure. It's been so good. Specifically, single-player games have been top-notch this year. It's been a really great year. All right, guys, this is our first time showing Neon on stream. If you've not seen Neon before, you're in for a treat. This is when the game goes into the cyberpunk genre. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, Gera with five gifted members of the community. Big. Thank you, man, for five gifted members. Very kind of you, dude. Thank you. It's just because uh, brand brand accounts, Cobra, are just treated a little bit differently than a standard account. Sniffers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step through. All right, get up slowly and turn around. Try to run and we open fire. Yeah, James, yep, you certainly can get addictions in this game. Thank you, Gara, for the five gifted members, man. So, what was it then? Smuggle the Aurora into a Kila city or New Atlantis? No, no, I just forgot I was carrying it. So, honest mistake, right? Can't, can't we just settle this right here? I can pay the usual. We don't make the rules. That's Administrator Bayo's job. Now, shut up and start walking. Move it. Let's go. Okay, and so now we have uh, just a random mission for this guy. Let's get in here with the elevator with them and go on down. Thank you so much, Kara. What's up, Mr. Stock? Are you working toward that technological leap? Like for you, James? 
Look at this, guys. A cyberpunk city. I need to put my pajamas on. Alright. Now, guys, I'm going to leave you with the scenery of Neon for just a few minutes while I go use the bathroom real quick. I have to pee so bad, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to grab some water, and then we're going to go, go get into some uh, business around here, okay? Thank you all so much for tuning in today. Also, also, I hope you're enjoying your stay. I'll be right back. We're back. We're back. We are here. Neon's a pretty cool city, man. It's just very cyberpunk, obviously. Uh, if you guys are curious as to where you can go to do some corporate espionage faction missions, you want to go over to the apartments right over here, I believe. Maybe it's not the apartments. Okay, maybe you need to go to this kiosk over here then. Are you working toward that next technological leap? Then let Reugen Industries help you get there. Fill out an application today to become part of the most advanced technology corporation in the settled systems. There it is. So you just go to this kiosk. Then you fill out a job app application. Welcome to the Ryujin Industries job application. All questions must be answered in order for your application to be submitted. Work experience. How many years of experience do you have working in a secretarial position or corporate environment? I've got none. How familiar are you with Ryujin Industries and its product lines? Not at all. What is your proficiency with computers in regards to typing and file management? High. What level of education have you completed? Bachelors. Do you have a history in criminal activity? Yep. Application is now complete to officially submit your application. Please select submit application below. Answers may no longer be changed beyond this point. Submit application. Thank you for submitting your application. Please report to Imogene Salzo on the operations floor at Ryujin Tower. And look at that. We now have a quest to start that faction. And that's where you go, go to get in some corporate espionage. It's kind of fun, actually. kind of fun man uh, I need to sell a lot of these weapons that I have too so give me a moment to find a shop to do that I forgot to sell all this stuff earlier uh, there's Terra Brew Enhance the Borealis you know the 
DJ? Well, she's mm. moving around because she lost. Hold on, let's hit the Astro Lounge real quick, guys. Anyway, <laughs> I've had enough partying. Let's get let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get out of here, dude. Uh, Mythic Blue. In order to get monetized on YouTube, you need four thousand watch hours in a single twelve-month period. That doesn't mean three out three thousand hours of content put out or four thousand hours of content put out. It just means you need to have that amount of time of people's eyeballs watching your stuff. You can put out one single 20 minute video and if it gets enough views and enough people watch it for say, you know, even half of that, then if it adds up to 4,000 total hours in 12 months, then you can monetize. We also need, uh, I think 1,000 subscribers as well. So, I mean, I will say in the example I gave, if you put out one single video and it gets 4,000 watch hours, that'll lend you a lot of subscribers by itself. I ain't gonna stand around here all day, right? Change your life. You want the stuff or not? I'm still interested in what you're asking for. Hello, Estelle Vincent. You looking to get zoned? Speaking of subscribers, guys, listen. We are exactly 70 away from 46,000, and I have a big end of the year goal to hit 50,000 before the, before the end of the year. Before December 31st, or I say January 1st. If you're enjoying your time here, it would mean a lot if you could hit that subscribe button while you hit the like button. Thank you, guys. I'm looking for you. Yeah? Well, if I had a credit for every time I heard that line, I wouldn't be stuck working in this place. So, I'm guessing you're the rook that Delgado sent. Well, let me save both of us some time. Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. I need specifics. Specifics, huh? Okay. Fine. I spent the last... The whole time, I didn't mean to I'm do that. also Sorry. keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. We both need to do what we're told. Yep, just like a couple of Model A's. Program us, point us in the right direction, and watch us go. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm gonna make this as clear as possible. You want the conduction grid tech, then you're going to have to download it from the power core of Jennerdyne's facility in the underbelly. Where's the underbelly? <laughs> Beneath your feet, genius. Well, no shit. It's the lowest level of neon. Jennerdyne and Xenofresh are down there, along with some of the finest cuisine in the city. What kind of facility are we talking about? I'm talking about Jennerdyne's main power plant for neon. <laughs> All their cushy offices might be up in the trade tower, but the nuts and bolts of their operation are running beneath the city. What exactly is the power core? Some fancy name the brain trusted Jennerdyne calls the room where all the power from the conduction grid is stored. Cute, right? Hey, don't look at me. I didn't build the damn thing. All I know is that the tech inside the place is valuable. That sounds easy enough. Love the confidence. But before you pull the ripcord, 
I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. What's up, Mimo McMe? While you're inside, Jennerdine, I need you to plant a virus into their system. Yeah, me and Fire are IRL simple buds. Side job that'll earn you some credits. As well as Daz. I think you can handle it. We are the good friends. Uh, Delgado never mentioned anything about a virus. That's because you're planning it for me as a favor. Jennerdine has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks, and I want access. Here, take this micro drive and access the computer in Brace and Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. I assume we'll be facing some serious security. Oh no. Are you scared, little rabbit? Well, don't worry. I've got you covered. Jennerdine's got their place locked down tight. But, as usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. I recommend you start with Ayumi Komiko, an upper-level exec at Jennerdine. Get your hands on her security pass, and you'll have the run of the place. There's gotta be a catch. The catch is that Komiko's having a little fling with Benjamin Bayou. Anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorico. Talk to the owner of the place, Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. As for dealing with Komiko herself, she's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. The rest is up to you, Rook. When you're done, come meet me at the VIP booth in the Astral Lounge so we can celebrate. Oh, you want to party when we're done here? Okay. All right, dude. Watch your step. Benjamin Bayou has... You're a stud? Everywhere. Oh, thank you. I mean, I'm a little biased, but I do have to agree. I think my character's a pretty good-looking man. I mean, who am I kidding? That dude is ugly. <laughs> ah, yes. Typical club bathroom. Thanks for joining us, Mimo. Is it, is it Mimo or Memo? I, I, just, I, I just thought because you're, you know, Mick Me, I thought it was going with, like, the... It's probably my mom. Sorry. <laughs> my day's been great, Martin. How are you? All right. Locate evidence to extort Ayumi Kamiko. That's where we're going. I really like this city. I think this might, might be my favorite city in this game, by the way. Mimo or whatever you want. All right, Mimo. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, what? Is this important? I'm really busy right now. Let me save you some time. If you're here for a job, we're not hiring. If you're here about the conduction grid tour, we shut it down a year ago. Um, what's the conduction grid? See that big yellow thing that's draped over almost the entire city? That's the grid, or what the locals call the span. Besides looking like some sort of madman's modern art piece, it's actually the main source of the city's power. I don't need a job. Good. If you were, you'd be the 12th person I've turned away this year. What a waste. Look, I'm sorry if I'm blowing up at you, but I've got a ton of problems and no time to deal with them all. I'm afraid that things aren't going terribly well around here. What's up, Travis? Uh, if you don't mind talking about it, I'm willing to listen. I don't care if I'm allowed to or not. I'm happy to get this off my chest. The conduction grid went online almost 75 years ago. And since then, we haven't developed a single groundbreaking innovation. At this point, the money we're taking in as a power utility barely covers the waste that's going on in the research and development division. Sounds like you need a new person in charge of R&D. <laughs> You'd think that, right? The problem is that Brayson Bayou, administrator Bayou's brother, is currently heading up the R&D division. I swear to you. The man doesn't know the first thing about power systems or electromagnetic technology. Surely there are other scientists working at Brazen's side. Of course there are. But so far, 
Brayson has suppressed most of their work through pure jealousy. Look, I'm running out of options. No one above me seems to care what's going on, but I'm willing to take a chance. I have a full report on Brayson that I want to send to Administrator Bayou, but I don't know if he can be trusted. What do you think I should do? Hey, Ivo, how you doing? What exactly does the report say? It describes my aggravation with how badly Brayson Bayou is running the Research and Development Division. I'm also including a list of all the failed experiments he's greenlit, and how much they've cost Genodyne as proof of his incompetence. I'm praying someone as financially successful as Administrator Bayou might be able to put aside his ego and look at this from a business perspective. Well, if you're worried about this company, then send that report. You know what? You're absolutely right. I can't allow Brayson to run this company into the ground. Hey, look, uh, thanks for helping me out with this. It's been on my mind for a long time. If there's anything else you need, any questions at all, feel free to ask. Uh, mind if I ask some questions about Ayumi Komiko? As long as it doesn't get me into serious trouble, ask away. Do you suspect that she's involved in anything illegal? Whoa. Okay, that's crossing the line. I can't discuss company matters like this. Listen, there's no reason for us to have a problem, is there? Yeah, I hope so. I'm tired of asking. Tell me now. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Damn it. <laughs> I'm sure we can work something out. You don't know ah. what you're talking about. Look, I don't know why you're pushing me to talk about Miss Komiko's private affairs, but I don't think it's appropriate to ask me about this right now. Damn it, man. Um, let me ask you again. We're done talking about that. Sorry. You want to do some digging? You do it on your own. Uh, how long has she been your boss? I've only been working here for a few years now, and she's been my boss the entire time. Well, the big boss is our CEO, Mr. Harada. But I've actually never met him. He lives somewhere in New Atlantis, I think. You enjoy working under her? Uh, she's my boss. She's fine, I guess. Look, like I said, I don't want to get into serious trouble. She might be a bit tough on all of us, but being responsible for Neon's power grid is a very stressful position. Sometimes that stress trickles down. That's all I want to ask for now. Sure, sure, no problem. All right. Thanks for taking the time to talk. I think we kind of failed to get any extra information here, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we kind of failed. But I'm going to show you guys something here in just a second that's going to help you out with persuasion stuff. And I would say... The earlier in the game you can get this, the more it'll help you what? out, especially I'm if you're trying here. to do some more social-based stuff like persuasion and whatnot. Let's go down to the lobby. You can actually buy some enhancements here from Ryujin that'll give you more persuasion capability. I heard there's shortages over at Reliant Medical. Not great. Have they have a little shop with some stuff exactly all the way down here on the other side of the city. I'll show you. Yo, Travis, thank you for the $1 super chat. I appreciate it. Your first ever super chat, dude. Thank you very much. Very kind, man. Thank you. Are those NPCs still talking and looking at you without rating your look? They're professionals, okay? They're professionals. But yeah, you just kind of, you walk into the Ryujin building. Straight ahead is the elevator. You don't want to go there. You want to take a right. Talk to this man, Ito Welcome Suzuki. Welcome to the Ryujin Industries product store. I'm always stocked up on your... Then you just go to all or apparel, and then you have all this different stuff. You see on the right side how it says plus five persuasion chance? Yeah, that's just the suits. You can actually get something you can wear on your face called neuro boosts that give you more stuff. Intimidation, diplomacy, instigation. You've got persuasion on the suits, naturally. But then you have Intimidation, Diplomacy, and Instigation on those right there, too, when you wear those on your face. Pretty good. Pretty good. Have a good one. 
Of course, if you want to try to steal, you can as well, but there's just a lot of people around, so I don't really recommend trying to steal here. It would not go very well. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, those are a thing there too. I'm just not buying anything myself because I don't want to change out of these PJs. I want to leave my pajamas on. So chances we're going to upgrade that. Um, you can find further enhancements to that around. Yes, you can find like more advanced pieces there, but those are like the starting point. All right, so I failed to get any information here. I don't know why it's telling me to go back up here again to try to get more, but maybe I missed something. So let's check that out. This game be worth it on the Steam Deck. My birthday's coming up and I might be getting one. I have no idea, as I've not used a Steam Deck before. I don't know what it's capable don't of. Take a fight with I don't really uh, like play games outside of my house, and when I do want to play a game, I'm almost always at my Can't PC. Talk. So I've got a deadline coming up. I don't really know. I'm sorry. Nice. Maybe this uh, PC here will help us out. Do, 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 do. Okay, that fits there. And that there, nice. Notifications. Security reminder. Your security software has expired. Please contact your provider for the latest update. Automated update failed. Update available. New update is available for your operating system. Wow. I really just... I really just hacked into the system for it to tell me that I need to, op <laughs> I need to update it. Okay. Okay, dude. I was hoping to get some information out of that, but alas, we have not. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. Are you lost? Yep. Sure am. All right. I used to be an actuary. Is there any cool old earth guns or gear? Absolutely. I've got to call someone to power. And there sure is, dude. There's an old earth hunting rifle, which is a VSS. Never heard of VSS called a hunting rifle before, but that's a thing. There's an old world assault rifle, which is an AK-47, and an old earth shotgun, which looks like a standard 12 gauge. Okay, let's settle this once and for all. Velocity or Chimera? Uh, Mythic Blue, GPU is graphical processing unit and CPU is computer processing unit. Or central processing unit, one of the two. I guess it kind of works both ways. Uh, but those are like the main components of a PC. Down your third velocity and you're out cold. By the third Chimera. Welcome, please. Hey, Locus. Make yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink. Or perhaps you're here seeking access to our members' lounge, where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. I'm looking for a Yumi Komiko. No, no, not this again. You people should leave her alone. What do you want with her? I... Why do you care so much? Not that it's any of your business, but we're very close. We're in love. I refuse to let anything bad happen to her, no matter how much trouble she's gotten herself into. 
I have some documents for her to sign. Yeah, sure. Tell me another one. You debt collectors are low-life assholes. She's broke, okay? Now get out of my club before I get really pissed off and have you thrown into the street. I'm no debt collector. I'm from the Crimson Fleet. The... the Crimson Fleet? Oh my, I, I'm sorry. I had no idea. I didn't mean anything by it, really. Sorry, I just... Well... I worry about her. Ayumi owes a lot of money around town. I'm trying to help her out. But, you know, I have a business to keep afloat. If you want to talk to her, you can find her in the members' lounge. Of course, access to the lounge is going to cost you. And I'm not changing my mind about that. 5,000 credits to get into this lounge. All right, whatever. Excellent. Then here is your access key. Surely I can Please make more than that. Please let us know if anything in the lounge interferes with your comfort. Goodbye. May all your journeys be safe. Goodbye. Like you need to relax. All right. We use the pass. We close the door. Very nice. Is ammo rare to come by for those old guns or worth using at all? Um... I use them in my other character a little bit, and they seem to do okay as far as ammo goes. I have some 762, which is what the which is what the uh AK-47 will use. I also do have some 12 gauge shotgun shells right there. And then I think it's 9x39. Yeah, 9 by 39 millimeter, which is for the uh, the old earth hunting rifle, which is the VSS. So I wouldn't say it's too hard to come by. You can also find it, uh, you know, at like gun shops and stuff like that. So you can keep buying more and more. You know what I mean? Yo, Travis J becoming a member of the channel. Thank you very much for that, dude. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Syndicate. Why are syndicate people here? Hello. Hey. If you wish to relax with some Aurora, I have plenty available. All right, let's talk. Yeah. What do you want? Thank you, Travis. Need a way into the Jennerdine power facility. Uh, you must be zoned out of your mind because there's no way anyone sober would say something like that. Ammo types unchanged in 300 years. Uh, those are specifically for the old earth weapons, Kai. That's why. Those are specifically for the old earth weapons. The Crimson Fleet's asking, not me. The Crimson Fleet, huh? This is interesting. So tell me, what does Delgado need with my Pastor Genodyne? I'm after the conduction grid tech. So, let me get this straight. Yeah, no problem, Travis. You want me to sneak you into Genodyne so you can steal the only profitable piece of technology the company's come up with in decades. If you expect me to take a risk like that, then it's going to cost you some major credits. So when do you care about taking risks? Do you have any idea what Benjamin Bayou would do to me if he found out we were even having this conversation? If I'm going to let you into Genodyne, I need a backup plan. Namely, money to get off world fast. You understand what I'm saying? I don't have to pay you a single credit. Yes, you do. Short of taking it off my dead body, which would never happen thanks to my Sioga buddies here. You don't pay, you don't get the pass. Pay dot 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 credits I'm not paying mystery credits here I don't have that kind of money right now then you better go find some because this pass isn't going to come cheap hey you still trying to join the crimson fleet I'm already part of the crimson fleet Oh, you're not the right guy. You are.
Hmm. Let me see how Bring much this actually the costs. The what is the what is this mystery number? I've not seen this before. You've got yourself a deal. Here, Four thousand. That's easy. Pass. That's fine. It should get you through the storage room and you to the facility. I'm warning you though. Once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck. You're going to need it. Four thousand is easy. That's not bad. Though I did pay a total of nine thousand to get in here and get the pass, so that kind of sucks. But again, we have made so much money today. <laughs> We've made so much money in the last two days. Like, that's actually a pretty small amount for all of this. It's okay. We're at that point where we can just kind of get a little crazy. All right, we go around the back side of this here. Walk inside. We got the storage room pass. We're in there. Hey, what's up, Wizzy? Thank you for joining us, dude. We'll take that. We'll take that. Thank you. Red Harvest Spaghetti. Dude, I really want pasta. I have pasta on the mind. I've been avoiding a lot of pasta because, like I told you guys a couple months ago, I stopped taking the uh, the acid reflux medication because, you know, it has some pretty bad side effects later on in life, and I don't want that. So I've been closely monitoring, you know, the foods I eat and stuff like that. It's actually been going... Oh, shit. Damn it. It's actually been going really well. I've not had... Any acid reflux issues in, I don't know, a good month now? It's been going great there. Ah, shit. Bring back the money for the pass. You've got yourself a deal. Here, take this pass. It should get you through the storage room and you to the facility. I'm warning you. Good luck. You already know that. Okay. I got to make an autosave before we actually walk in there. I kind of just got distracted. You don't need the med yeah. scam, I'm proud of you. No, it's very much so not a scam. <laughs> no, um, if you experienced the pain I went through through all this, then you would not say that. But, yeah. <laughs> what I don't sell ends up in trouble. They, uh, they're very helpful. They just have some pretty bad side effects later on in life is all. They affect your bone density and stuff like that. Not fun. Now, before I even took the meds, um, like, even just, even, like, I got to a point where even just drinking, like, a glass of water would hurt. It was really, really not fun. Like, imagine walking into the kitchen and someone is cooking food and just the smell of that food burns. That was a very real reality for me for a long time. That shit sucked. Don't be suspicious. There's a lot of people here. Will this game have multiplayer in the future? No. This game is not going to be co-op or PvP or anything like that. It's just not meant for that. It's a single player experience like much of Bethesda's other games. Is the poisonous foods? No. Uh, dude, I'm not having this conversation again. 
I had a very, very clean diet. It, <laughs> this, is, this has been a thing in my life since I was in the single digits of age. It's nothing to do with the foods I eat. I have a very clean diet and, you know, I would deviate from that here and there, sure, when I was on the heartburn medication, but even before then, it has nothing to do with that. But I'm not, I'm not having this conversation again. Close the door, please. Anyone in here? Oh, that's a high level robot. Damn it. RTX 4090? No, I have a 4080. <laughs> Yella, yeah, please stop. I just said I'm out of this conversation. <laughs> you really don't know my life that well. Please stop pretending to. Thank you. Deus Ex. I really hope that they end up bringing that franchise back. I heard a rumor that that's going to be a thing again, but you know, I feel like Ubisoft has really done poorly in all, you know, recent years, so I don't have a lot of confidence there. <laughs> I think you can end up getting spotted by these freaking <laughs> Roomba bots, dude. Go, go, go. Okay, that's not grand. Okay, so we need to get down into this little vent, walk under the floor, wait for the robot to go the other way, and then we can pop up over there. Nope, drop on in. There you go, bud. We can see it through the floor as well. All right, there it goes. Good news. Uh, is there a PC to control that robot here? Deactivating units. Very nice. We got him. Really? I opened the door and instantly get spotted. Something behind me showed up. Something behind me just showed up there. That doesn't add up. Did I already deactivate this? Did I save before or after? Let's make another save. What's up, General Grievous? Oh man, I haven't done any sneak attacking at all, so I can't level that up. That's harsh. Shoot, 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 shoot.
We got a lot of things I could level up too. What's up, Nifemi? How you doing, dude? Oh my god. It was the robot. <laughs> the robot walks back back towards me and then sees me and then like goes to bed because I deactivated it. All right, I'm going to do a reload here. I'm actually going to mess with the friend foe settings then. Was that an AC? Yeah, smallest AC I've ever seen in my life. Robots with combat inhibitors removed will treat any nearby entity as a threat. Let's not do that. All right, so it's a friend now. So even though it's deactivated, it's going to go over here. Yeah, now it's not going to consider me a threat even when it's going to bed. Okay. close unfortunately wish there was that's a Roomba can you actually spot me let's do a save they really bring up the bar but I don't think they can actually spot me You know, playing Baldur's Gate 3 on PS5. So highly recommend you turn off 3D audio on the PS5 system settings. This game's got a little bug where the sound will turn off. I feel like the uh, 3D audio in general on anything right now hasn't. It is not great. I've never had a good experience with 3D audio with any of this stuff. Could just be bad luck, of course, too. What's the circle at bottom left with S lines? Bottom left with S lines. So the thing on the bottom left, that is my O2 and CO2. I don't, I don't know what S lines are, though. Basically, uh, it's my stamina meter and my compass. Space Roombas, man. Alright, that's not going to fit on this one, but that'll fit right there just fine. Could it fit here, too? Negative. That's the only spot it realistically could go. That could go there, and then this could go here. And since those are there, this could go right here like so. Gorgeous. ourselves a nice little loot room here. Nice little loot room. What is? I guess we'll just take it because we can end up selling it. That's fine. Ooh, Black Market Antiquities. 11,260 value. If we're going back to Crick's after this, we can just take it right there and sell it. Some contraband. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can get an early release on PS5 right now. Um, today is September 2nd, so that that's pretty cool. The official release is September 6th for it, though, on PS5. I will say, though, the game is absolutely worth playing. Like, man, 
looking back guys like this i don't know how people are going to feel about this but i'm going to say it looking back if i could go back in time and buy the collector's edition of Baldur's gate 3 i would i think they're completely out of stock now but if i can go back and buy it like pre-order the ultimate edition whatever it is with the the big mind flayer statue i would because that thing is so sick and the game is so good and i want to support larian so much All right, guys, Gara says, all right, people, if we get to 500 likes, I'll gift five memberships. Surely we are enjoying the sneaky pirate in his PJs. Surely. Surely. <laughs> I like it, Gara. Guys, we are 32 likes away from 500. Hit that like button. Maybe Gara will gift some memberships. Thank you, Gara. Thank you, dude. Oh. All right, I see two technicians and a guard again. Three technicians and a guard. You all see nothing. You're all very involved in your work. You want nothing to do with the man sneaking around behind the very PCs you're working on. Oh yeah. One thing I'm proud of in my country is having a game studio that made an amazing game, Baldur's Gate 3. It's so, it's so good, man. And this, like, this is the thing too, guys. Baldur's Gate 3 is like, it's a great game, right? It's a great game, and pretty much everyone that's played it will, you know, they'll have their own thoughts on it. But even with all those thoughts, it's still received very well. And that's with a ton of problems in the game still. You can just tell that there's such a massive love for the craft of putting the game together in all aspects that people are willing to look beyond what the game has bad in it. Like, that's how good that game is. That's saying something. That is, that is really saying something. Granted, they're also, you know, fixing these bugs extremely fast, too, to be fair. They do have a bug fix coming in for Minthara's questline very soon, too, which is nice to hear. All right. Oh, oh, damn it. Damn it, bad. How do you gift members? You can only do so, I think, from PC, uh, like a web browser. Probably the best person that is showing this game off. I've been watching for hours, can't stop watching. You're awesome. Hey, Thomas, thank you for the kindness, man. Very cool of you to say, dude. Thank you. What's up, Feels? Still going strong? We are. You gift members on your phone? Oh, I didn't know that was even possible. Okay, so in order to do so, if you care to do so, there is a, you know, the little dollar sign icon below chat. You can click that and it'll give you any type of monetized options. But again, like it's not mandatory to be a part of what we do here. It's an extra level of generosity if you care to do so. I'm just glad to have you guys here joining our community. That's always the number one thing. I can't close that door. We are sneaking in, though. Just five likes away from the big 500. Oh, space Roombas. You know, good on them for having so many, uh, so many vacuums around. Really keeping this place clean. That's how you run a system like this, dude. Super clean. There's also people up there. They can see in here, so that's kind of not great. We're going for it. Hopefully the space Roombas do not see me. I think as long as I don't get in their way, they'll be fine. Ooh. This place seriously lacks doors, and I hate that. 
<laughs> I hate that so much. Hey, Picasso, I'm glad you're uh, excited for the game to drop, man. Guerra. Guerra, thank you for the five gifted members to the community, man. Big. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Big. Yeah, they got all the cooling, too. Oh, yeah. Who is still seeing me? What do you rate the game? Uh, Yandel, I do have a review video if you'd like to check that out. I have a few videos on my channel for Starfield already. Conduction Grid Description. Conduction Grid is an electro electromagnetic absorption system utilizing the shroud suspended above neon as a lightning conduction array. When a lightning discharge is created between the array and the troposphere, the energy is dispersed evenly across the system's receptors. It is then transported via conductive conduits into our processing facility, where it passes through a series of polyphasic capacitors and rectifiers. This ensures that the incoming energy is equalized from its original positive and negative states. Once the energy is cleaned, it gets stored in power storage cells and located in the power core of the facility. Plans downloaded. The grid plans are highly classified as a safety precaution. They are encoded with a 512-bit five, hollow matrix encryption. If decryption is required, please obtain a cipher from Chief Technician Brayson Bayou in our section. Nah, surely we've got people that can handle that themselves. Technician Shibata, currently posted to Genadai's R.I.D. laboratory. Personal notation. I'd like to go on record about my feelings about Chief Technician Bayou. Though most of my fellow employees feel that he's underqualified Bren. and incompetent. Bren matching the five gifted members. Thank you very much, dude. I've spoken to Brayson at length. Bren and Kara. Thank you guys very much. And endearing person. I think that living in the shadow of his brother, Administrator Benjamin Bayou, has given him a bad name. And that's a shame. From what I can gather, he was placed in his current position against his own better judgment and asked to do the impossible. Thank you, Bren. It's an unfortunate situation. Thank but you, Gary. I will endeavor to get the rest of the technicians in the department to be more supportive. Oh, I'm encumbered? I was not aware I was encumbered. Well, let's try to drop some stuff that we're not going to be really using, nor sells for a lot. Do, 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 do. Let's just drink a beer. Nice. Snuck in here, drank a beer, and now we're leaving. What's this? Okay. Oh, that's a big old security robot. I love that. He literally just said that he's so tired of people complaining about all the layoffs. And then he starts complaining about how people are laid off from the security force. And he's like, how are we supposed to keep up? <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. It's always, you know, those that are not affected by it. 
that com that you know complained about the complainers and then as soon as they're affected by it themselves they suddenly have that same perspective hey i just realized i really don't want to be in that room i really don't want to be in that room at all saw me climb. Hey. There's Mr. Bayou himself. You're not mad that I'm in here? Like you just don't really care? Alright, but I'll tell you what. You stay right there. I'm gonna go check out this room real quick, okay? Don't mind me. What's in the box? None of this is considered stealing. Interesting. The Bridger is a grenade launcher. Not so worried about getting that. I love the little, uh, the little space shuttle model there. Love that. Hey, man. Oh, it's you. I was wondering how long it would take you to get down here. If you want the encryption cipher, you're welcome to it. I just don't want anyone getting hurt. There has to be a catch. No, no catch. I I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher? It it's yours. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. I'm sure you have good reason to hate your brother. Oh, don't, don't patronize me. I know I'm no prize winner myself, but at least I don't spend my days trying to screw everyone over. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works out for him. While, I, while I've been bouncing from one job to the next, barely keeping afloat. And all the while, he laughs at me behind my back. Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. All right. Okay. You should expose Bayou for everything shady he's done. That wouldn't do any good. For every scheme he's gotten himself into, he has a bulletproof exit strategy. Man's virtually immortal. You know what? I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my turn to take control for once. The passcode for my terminal is GEN-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. Write that down. I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, I suggest you do the same. Someone write that down. Why are you uh, and Ben at such odds with each other? Because he's a two-faced son of a bitch, that's why. That's not like I should be surprised. When we were younger, we, we never got along very well. Hey, thank you, I mean, Creon. I appreciate that. He's 11 years older than I am. We had two different mothers. Might as well have been from two separate families. That must have been tough. Well, that's an understatement. I never knew my actual mother. She was my father's mistress. And I was told she vanished from Neon when I was only two years old. Ben's mother, she didn't give a crap about me. Wouldn't even let me call her mom. I just had to call her Liliana. <laughs> Can you imagine? And then there's dad. So buried in the day-to-day -day operations of Neon, he didn't have time to pay attention to his bastard son. Oh. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Everyone's sorry. Just as sorry as I am. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do. And, and it's nice to get this off my chest, but talking about it isn't going to change a thing. That's why I gave you the encryption cipher. Anything I can do to stick it to Ben, that's the real therapy. Okay, man. Feels good to be in control for a change. Okay, man. 
Yo, Sloan Gaming. Maybe the $5 super chat. Thanks for all the great content, my friend. But most importantly, your kindness towards others and your care for your followers. Hey, thank you a lot for the kindness as well. Your first ever super chat, dude. Thank you, Sloan. Big man. Thank you. Uh, yet, this game, a bunch of instances are open. It's a mix. You have all some open areas, and then you have, like, instance areas within those. What's up, Sendari? How you doing? Welcome back. Good to see you. Science crater nuclear football. Uh, it's a... It's a science nuclear football. Perfect. Game worth it. Uh, why don't you take a look at my review video so you can get a better look at all the systems within the game and my thoughts on them, and then go from there. I recommend it, but, you know, my review video will help cover more things for you. Encryption routine. Okay. Okay. Upload subsystem. Data input. Very good. Data pack has been transferred to the Jennerdyne mainframe. Please allow approximately 13 to 20 seconds for the data to fully integrate with the system. And then the message system. Yes, very good. Tangible. Yes, very good. Today's uploads, ideas and sketches, recipe for Julia experiment results maintenance reports da, da, da. it's all fine again today okay we must get the budget fixed to power cells yes yes very good i'm hitting the wrong buttons total meltdown oh no Burn signature from your office has been completed as per your specifications the lift should bring you directly to the surface can be easily accessed using the standard elevator call system cost has been deducted from your personal account as requested please let me know if you have any issues with the product Right. Man's got a personal elevator. Shit, dude. Imagine. We're going to his pet house. Oh, it's restricted. Son of a. All right, never mind. All right, and here we are at the entrance to the Astral Lounge. Right where I want to be. Very nice. Thank you for over 500 likes on the video. 520 now, guys. Thank you so much. wearing a onesie walks into a club, right? <laughs> ah, there you are. What kept you? I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Jennerdyne systems. If you know why I'm here, then you know what's at stake. All too well. You know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. Cutting a deal with the flea will be cheaper than paying to remove the virus. Probably. But do you want to know why that's not going to happen? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done with finesse. That's not true. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. That's not how I do business. I didn't shoot a single person in Jennerdyne. I didn't stab anyone. In fact, I got in and out squeaky clean, aside from you meeting me here. Okay? No one no one in your entire production, you know, okay? No one caught me. All right? The Roombas saw me more than any human did. Your arrogance is astounding. That's what they tell me. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. 
All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. Oh, you're going to let me? It was... Brayson Bayou. Brayson? Interesting. And here I thought my dear brother was simply a coward. Hmm. Perhaps I've misjudged Brayson. No matter. I'll deal with him soon enough. So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regards. He's a little too smug the way he said that. Anyway. Anyway, um, I feel like Estelle... Uh, she was supposed to be here. And... So what's the deal with Estelle? Why'd she not show here? Devin and Astis is running into some trouble. Mifid Blue, have a good night. I'll see you later. I will see you next time. Question about character creation. When picking your traits you start with, can you pick your own in there? Is there an option for that to do your own instead of pre-built ones? Um, you get to select a certain uh, three out of the list that they have, but you can't like make up your own now. They're all predetermined and whatever you pick is what you get. My mother wanted me to be a doctor. Enjoy some unique company. Sounds good, Sloan. Have a good night, man. I'll see you later. Thank you for coming by today. Um, How many velocities did I have? The hell, man. Glad you're back. Sorry about the whole Benjamin Bay you think at the Astral Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? The man is priceless. I handled the situation. So I've heard. Throwing Brayson under the bus like that. Ouch. I mean... Scapegoat. As for the Crimson Fleet, so it benefits us all. That might help you sleep at night but doesn't do me a hell of a lot of good. Since Bayou flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jenardyne is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash, and I have no way to pay it all back. Who do you owe money to? Well, a business partner of mine named Nix was the author of the virus. Don't know if you know him or not. I actually do. Then there's the folks I paid to keep an eye on Ayumi Komiko. A few of the guards Jennerdine. Like I said, it was a huge job. Honestly, I shouldn't be revealing my sources because that puts you on their radar as well. But hey, you asked. When I get back to the key, maybe I'll put you in a word with Delgado. That's pretty cool of you to offer. But I know what he's going to say. Sorry, Estelle. This was your scheme. You're on your own. Believe me, he's not going to be much help. Look, I was hoping you'd pick up on what I was trying to ask. What the hell with it? I'll just ask. Can you cut me in for a little bit of cash you're making on this job? I mean, I did get you inside and practically hand you the data on the grid. I mean, yeah. I appreciate that. I really do. Having each other's back is what makes the fleet stronger, you know? How much uh, are you willing to part with? Um... This is all I can afford. 
Well, it's a bit less than I was hoping for, but thanks all the same. At least you gave a crap enough to cut me in at all. All right, I guess we're done here. Tell Delgado if he ever needs me for anything else. I've still got his back. And hey, you won't be hearing Rook from me anymore. As far as I'm concerned, you're one of us now. Lifeblood of the fleet. If anyone tries to tell you otherwise, you send them to talk to me. Okay. Put in a good word to Delgado for me, will ya? I mean, you literally said it's not gonna change anything, but uh, sure, dude. Sure. Who is detecting me? Is it you? Okay, it's probably you. Yoink. Kind of interesting that there was contraband in the back of this uh, little club here. You have a favorite weapon or armor? Ah. Uh... Favorite weapon in this game? Probably. I can't remember the name of the uh, of the weapon off the top of my head. But it uses the, some of the array ammo, and it has, like, the blue lasers coming out of it. It's, it's, it's actually a machine gun. It's like a heavy machine gun. And it just fires so quickly, and it's like a wild pattern. It's actually really fun to use. Really fun weapon. You know, I wasn't expecting to find contraband on Neon. Then again, it is a cyberpunk city, so. Seen it's a beast kill so fast. Yeah, the thing absolutely shreds. All right, I'm over encumbered. Is there a kiosk here? There's a ship services over there. All right, I know the screen's blurry. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to find where the uh, kiosk is. I would like to sell some of this contraband that I just stole. Oh, I don't want to turn on sticky keys. No. <laughs> I'm hitting shift too many times. I haven't done that in years. What the hell? Our virus creator goofed by letting it get detected. Yeah, I thought Nyx was supposed to be some like super good hacker person, but. They failed. You learn more about Nyx through um, the Ryujin quest line as well. You need to disable that? Yeah, it's been so long since I've actually like opened that up that I forgot it existed. Why are you not playing in third person view? Because I much prefer first person view. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, we're three over. Tell you what. Easiest fix of my life. All right, there's my bugged ship. I promise you my ship is actually here. It just doesn't look like it. <laughs> this is so weird. How many side quests are there? Uh, man, there's so many. There's a whole bunch of faction ones, and then there's like a whole bunch of just like other tasks and side missions that like, it's it, it, it's just not countable. I'm not sure how many there are. All right, let's go here. We need to fly over to the Crick system now. And I can get there directly. Very good. <laughs> What's up, Galax? How do you fix the bugged ship? I'm sure just uh, like a quick save and reload will solve the issue.
Hey. Let me just sell some business real quick and I'll be right back. Always listen to Delgado. I feel like she wants something major. She's standing at the port just waiting for me. What's up, software? How you doing? Sharks are too scared to take I've care. got what you because need. Ain't no fun. Kinetic Okay. Contraband. There you go. Have that one. Contraband. I have another one somewhere, don't I? I do. Have that one too. Easy money. Easy monies. You're just out about uh, just about out of funds now, so let's back out of this. I wonder how much the mech parts will sell for. I don't need Behold, my rent. You only have 436. They're done here. Great. How much money do you have in your pockets? You want to survive? Let's get you set up. 5000, good. And you're out of funding. See ya. Man, you know, for uh, for pirates, they're supposed to be like well established and everything. You guys don't really have a whole lot of funds, it's do hard you? To find. <laughs> now you're. <laughs> Anti computer? No way. <laughs> oh my god. VHS. Okay, anyway. You have a lot more money. 12500 Very nice. There you go. Have that one. Have those. Take that. Very good. Come back and see me sometime. All right, we can speak with Neva now. Are the funds respawn at some point? Yeah, yeah. If you wait a certain amount of time, they'll get more money back. Every time I see Randley smile, I want to you. Hey. All hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. What's going on? Hope it isn't bad. Oh, it's bad. Real bad. Delgado will fill you in with the details. Now get your ass to the repair bay. Go! Okay, thank you for the credits on the way. <laughs> yeah. So there I am. You see security. Hey, thanks, British Beef. Thank you for being here, man. And you are sure we will have those defense batteries up and running? No, 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 no. I'm not sure. They're in bad shape, Del. Really bad shape. I I'm already using duct tape and spit to keep the station from falling apart. You want me to pull a rabbit out of my hat? I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear that it's going to be fixed. Period. Get it done. All right, all right. I'm on it. You want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data? Listen, bitch. What's this about defensive batteries? Nothing you need to worry about. Stay in your own space lane and let Jazz do her damn job. Now, do you have what we sent you to Neon for or not? Do you see about to attack us? It's right here, dude. Ah, perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> Dependable as always. Unlike some people we know. Oh, that's real funny. All right, listen up because I don't want to repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC Sysdef is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the key. While we prepare for their arrival, I want you to head straight for Bannock 4 and bring Crix's legacy home. I'll prepare my ship immediately. Just slow down and listen before you jump the gun and ruin everything. Lay it out, Jess. All right, first things first. I'm going to upload this data you snagged from Jennerdyne into the key's databanks. 
All you need to do is build and then install a conduction grid module onto your ship. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comp spike module installed as well. Once your ship is ready, jump out the Bannock 4, board the Legacy, and bring us the cash. There's gotta be a catch. Of course there's a catch. What, you thought this would be easy? After you board the Legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, hook up the data core I'm gonna give you, and download everything they've got. And before you get any bright ideas, like running off with the money, that currency is going to be heavily encrypted. Only a genius like Shinya will be able to crack that encryption. So bring it back here right away. Of course I'll bring it back here. I'm not a traitor. Are you kidding? Everyone around here is a traitor. Look, I'm gonna make this real simple for you. If that money ends up anywhere but the key, I will hunt you down and pry it out of your dead hands myself. <laughs> now get moving. Okay, man. Okay, man, relax. Conduction grid module is now available at any ship services tech. Now get your ass to Bannock 4. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. Well, the conduction grid module help me get to the legacy. Well, you already know that the conduction grid does a pretty nifty trick. It absorbs extreme voltage and converts it to usable power on Neon. Mm -hmm. The version for your ship can still absorb incoming electrical energy, like, say, the EM fields surrounding Bannock 4, but it can't store the power. Instead, it just scatters the EM harmlessly away from the hull, insulating you from frying every circuit aboard. As a nice side effect, I'm betting the module will make your ship somewhat EM weapon resistant and boost its shield regen. <laughs> Lucky you. Mind helping me with my ship? Not a problem. Conduction grid data is all set up in the system, so it should be an easy install. Defemi, have a great night. Thank you for being here today. Hope to see you again soon. Uh, do it. I would say go check out the review video on this game on my channel. I have a video I put out a couple days ago that will, uh, you know, kind of share my ideas on the game. I bet you would. All right. So now I have to put this uh, thing on my ship. But where do I put it on my ship? That's the question. Add. Okay, we need to put a conduction grid and a comm spike. Maybe a scan jammer. I'm not sure of the size of these things. Hopefully they're nice and small, because if they are, we can just kind of throw them right here and here. Oh, that's that's beautiful. We can put them right there. That's sick. Oh my god, all three things fit right there? That's freaking gorgeous! The fact that it took them 25 years to make this game is mind-blowing. It didn't take them 25 years. It's been an idea that they've had for 25 years. It took them since, um... Since after Fallout 4, they started development of this project. 25 years is the idea and how long it took them to birth it because the technology, you know, 25 years ago to make a game like this didn't exist. Yes, they did. It took them 25 years to collect everything. Google it. You're not seeing the information here. I just said duck a day. 25 years is the birth of the idea. They started development on the idea after Fallout 4. There's a difference here. It's fine to not like the game. I'm not saying, you know, you, you can't not like the game. What I am saying is to make sure your information is right and not pretend that you know what you're talking about. What's up, Southern? How you doing? Cleric, hello? I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. The comm spike traces and decrypts coded signals. 
As long as you have the transponder ID, you can track pretty much anything. That file you lifted from the Galbank archives contained the legacy's transponder. Hush up, you yank. I'll program Damn, into your someone's NAS butt hurt. All you have to do is get within the vicinity of Bannock 4, and the comm spike will automatically point you to the target. What's up, David? David, Cute how you toy, doing? Huh? Will there be mods on day one on Xbox Series X? I have no idea. I doubt it because uh, Microsoft and Sony are a little bit more not into the mod scene. I know there are mods on console for some of the previous Bethesda games, but it took them a long time to get the okay for a lot of that. So I don't know how that'll go with this game. What can you tell me about the key's defensive batteries? There are three defensive batteries, basically high-powered military space turrets triangulated around the key. They were part of the UC's original defenses for the station. Pretty effective, too. Can put some serious hurt on enemy spacecraft. The good news is that the batteries have an incredibly wide field of coverage, so they can pick off ships trying to reach the key from any vector. The bad news is that they're 100-year-old tech. They keep breaking down and are expensive as hell to keep operational. You just watch your butt out there. Sysdef Did I not save the configuration for the ship? Online. Did not I not save problem. that? I might not have. Sure, sure. Let me Okay, what else do I need to put on here? What else do we need, dude? I need starship design for the dual frequency one. Y'all can't understand banter. Not my fault. You're all so soft hearted. Bro, I'm going to say this once. Okay. So make sure you make sure you listen up. You came in here trying to tout false information. Okay. You're taking something that they said and twisting it in a narrative that is not helpful to anything. So don't act like you are like some <laughs> superior being in this regard just because you got called out for being wrong. Okay, it's okay to be wrong. We all we're all wrong at some point in our lives. No one is 100% correct all the time. Turn down the ego a little bit. All right? Turn down the ego just a moment. All right? Thank you. Let's see. Oh, well, we got some more uh, shielded cargo holds, too. Look at that. Look at that. That's got a 320 on there. God damn. You're literally sat playing a video game at what age? <laughs> Dude, are you, are you like 12? <laughs> oh, my God. There's an adult playing a video game. What the? Bro, get help. Okay. Get help. Well, that's the only one that'll fit there. That sucks. <laughs> Holy shit, man. What do you guys think? Some big old cargo holds on the back? They're nice and shielded. I think it's worth it. I think that's worth. Y'all really think I'm actually mad? I'm British. I find your country and culture hilarious. You are a very weird person. gonna get rid of this guy this guy this guy is not saying anything of actual intelligence like 
I feel like the entire IQ of chat just dropped by like 30. Let me just, there you go. Enjoy screaming into the void. What the hell, man? Oh, I can't change the color of the actual cargo hold itself. All right, it's a little ugly, but it's fine. I'm British, I apologize. You're good dog. No, there's people like that from, you know, every corner of the world. It's not a nationality thing, don't worry. Some people just suck. Some people just suck, dude. Warning? Reduce mass or add engines to improve mobility? Damn it, man. What if I remove one? We're nominal if we remove one of them, okay. Can we add a cargo hold right here? No, just that stupid thing. I'm pretty sure if I go for more engines, I'm going to need a more powerful reactor as well. Which I don't really have the capability of doing right now. So I think we might have to forego the whole new cargo hold idea for a bit. Or maybe we go with a couple smaller ones. I don't know. That was a big one at 320. Oh, that, that one's not even shielded anyway. What am I on about? That's fine. We're still nominal with those. So that's cool with me. dude okay all right now she still has a quest marker why install both the comp spike module and the conduction grid module they are installed already though i need to get those defensive batteries not a problem what's going on here oh Got a scan jammer. Oh, I have two different scan jammers. That's why. I've got the comm spike already. I put on the wrong thing. Comm spike and conduction grid. There we go. And then we can put on a scan jammer too. This is good. I was putting on the wrong piece of equipment. Ship looks nice. Thanks, dude. What kind of guns you got on that slick ship? We've got three cannons, two laser, uh, laser guns, and a couple of missile launchers as well. Any base building yet? No, I've not done anything around the, uh, the outposts at all. All right, before we do this, guys, I'm going to take a really quick break and stretch my legs real quick and grab more water. I'll be back in just a minute. Thank you all for tuning in today. Also, we're almost at 550 likes in the video. If you haven't hit the like button yet, it would mean a lot if you would. Thank you guys very much. I'll be right back. What kind of name is Sis Def anyway?
All right, guys, we are back. Let's get out there and do our thing, yeah? Get our health back to full. All right, let's undock. Looks like my ship uh, is no longer bugged. That's good. All right, we have to go over to the Bannock system, which means we need to go to Ophion first. The Bannock system is a level 50 system, though, so that's kind of scary. Considering I'm level, what, 15 myself? Okay, we made it to Ophion safely. Yeah, uh, they can definitely foster competition. There's a ship over there. Let's go check that out real quick. Yeah, exclusives can definitely foster competition, but I still, you know, I just, I'm just uh, all for like excessive <laughs> accessibility from any platform at all. What do you mean? Oh, thank God. There's not much time. No. No! Tell me what's going on. Uh, sorry about that. We're uh, just recovering from a, a cascade system failure. But I'm, we're getting the systems back online. We don't need any help. You can go. Uh-huh. They've been boarded. What happened to the captain? Captain? Uh, having a lie down. He really, really was upset with all the damage to the ship. And uh, he w wasn't the captain. I am. You don't sound very convincing. I uh, don't know what you mean. Got the shields up. Good. Keep at it. So everything's fine here. Please just leave. Uh, you get the first guy back on comms. Are you, hold on, are you Crimson Fleet? Spacers? Spacers? Why, uh, never. Just, uh, trader. Doing normal trading shit. <laughs> get the first guy back on the comms. Oh, him? He's, uh, resting. Poor guy all tuckered out. Weapon systems status? Working on it. Yeah, sorry. You know how it is. When a ship system is down, it just makes my skin crawl. I love that they're trying to delay me more and more so, like, they can fight me. Do, 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 do. A little bit of target lock. Why can't I shoot? Hello? Alive. I don't know why it wouldn't let me just light him up with the lock on. Well, let's board. No, I didn't want to go that way. Hey. 
You guys were not very kind. That's okay, though, because I'm just here to, you know, take their money. And maybe ultimately the ship. Ship Captain Hat. I think we found the actual captain. Uh-oh. Anything cool in here? Nah. <laughs> it's SpongeBob. My eyes! Yeah, right? I'm just a man with a knife. That's all I am. Just a man with a knife. There's really not much down this way either. No cred chips. I got some coffee. Coffee's cool. I like coffee. In fact, I'm probably gonna have a cup of coffee right after stream is over. Wife found this, uh... Wait, was that all of them? No, there's no way. Where's the bridge? Where's the cockpit? Wife found some, uh... What is it? Some hazelnut chocolate coffee, man? Holy hell, let me tell you, bud. Let me tell you something, bud. It's good. Five hundred fifty likes, yeah, dude, that's massive. Thank you guys very much for all the likes on the video. I appreciate it. I'm walking right past it every time. I looked at that door like three times. I swear to God. A sandwich! You know, guys, I might just become the universe's largest sandwich collector at this point. Sorry for the guy earlier? No, you're not responsible for their actions. Not at all, dude. You have nothing to worry about. Are you Canadian? Negative. From New York. Okay, we went there. Let's go up this ladder. I need to try to get in some sneak attacks. Another sandwich. Tasty. Oh. They're right there. No, don't fall. So I'm going to go up this ladder, right? You know what's going to happen when I climb up? They're just going to see me and shoot me many times right through the ladder. Oh, I was hoping they were going to turn around. All right. We save. We send it. Hey, how you doing? Yep. Just go ahead and shoot me, man. Not much I can do about it. Oh, my Christ. There's more of you down here. Listen, dude, I gotta heal for a minute, okay? You saw nothing. You got grenades? Yeah, I know. 
I just don't want to use them if I don't have to. I've used a few too many already. Ah, damn. Cut that, man. That's a lot of blood. That's all my blood, by the way. Oh, hey, what's up? Ow. I see you over there, dude. Or no, that's actually the door. I don't see you over there. Never mind. You think he went back up the ladder or what? No, there's no way. He's, he's in this room over here. He's got to be. Hey. <laughs> oh, it looks like we can take over the ship, by the way. A free ship. Throw a sandwich at him. Now that's big brain. Stabo in space? We sure are, dude. Incendiary combat knife? Don't mind if I do, dude. No, it's only 20 physical, though. And where's the cargo hold? That was the captain's thing. Where is cargo hold? Right next to it. All right, 2,100 credits. Some indecite. That's nice. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's, um... Oh, I need to upgrade my piloting skills. Damn it, dude. I have a skill point. Let's try this. Can I do it now? I can. I can. Okay. So it's a big ship. It is indeed a big ship. Turrets cannot be fired manually. Oh, they're auto turrets. They have auto laser turrets. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to go ahead and make this jump back over to Crix really quick with it. So that way we can keep it or sell it. It's my ship now. I can't just... I can't just go here? It's an unexplored route? Okay, dude. We got to go to Copernicus. take any ship you want you can take other ships that you find like i just did you can also like you can also like earn them in fights oh please don't attack me okay they're free star we're good well yeah you can just kind of uh like commandeer other ships yeah you can also like if you're on a planet and you see a ship land there's also a chance you can go to that ship that lands and just take the ship that give, you could like fight them for it or just try to steal it not all of them will like let you in but you could try what happened to your main ship my main ship is going to be back in our hands in just a few moments i just took this one and we're just kind of taking it back over here to see what the value of the ship is that's really cool what happens to your ship then your home ship or your previous ship automatically autopilots back to uh 
any planet that you go to. So, or, you know, like any station. So since I'm going back to Crix here, it's going to be here in just a few. We can just switch right back to it. So because uh, we took this ship, I'm probably going to have to register it again. And depending on the cost of the register and the price of the ship, well, yeah. that'll determine like how much profit we just made on that. Don't you have some? I've got plenty. All right, this one is just called damaged ship. The value on this is 28,520. If I register it, it's going to cost me 20, just about 24,000. Jesus, man. But still, we're going to make 4,400 credits if I do it like that. What we could do, we could just check out the parts on it and then see if it's worth I just have keeping. I a million things to do. Can't this wait? All right, let's... I have to register it regardless before I can actually modify it. So let's just do that. And then let's take a look. See here. This is a big ship. And so this is a great example of, I was trying to explain this yesterday. The way this, sh the way you can use this stuff is you can make it so you don't have to have like a super centered cockpit or bridge, right? And you, you can have like many hab units like you guys just saw. I, this was the ship that I just fought all those spacers on. You saw how large it was inside and how like confusing it was for me to navigate around. So these are, you know, this is just like a circumstance that you can have. That, like, there's just so many different ways you can build ships in this game. It's really cool. Is there ever cargo in it in the holds? Yeah, you can check the cargo hold like I did before I took the ship. Yeah. We got some big ass tanks on here too. Holy. Look at these engines. Oh my god. These engines are actually way above my level. But they are still class B, so I can pilot them at the very least. Class B pulse laser turrets. There's not a whole lot of areas where I can just like add stuff, unfortunately. Hold on, where's our reactor? What reactor do we have going on? The ion beam H1010 reactor. Power generated is just 16. Is B class and it only generates 16. I don't have really great choices here either either way. Most I could get is a Stellarator at 20. Yeah, we'll just leave it. What's the range on that ship? It's massive. What does the flight check have going on? Low mobility, missing weapon assignments. All oh, right. Uh, okay, I'm not going to sell this ship. I'm going to hold on to it. And when we can get some more parts going at another technician, I want to see what we can do with that bad boy. I'm fine with low mobility if I can make it so I can have like, I like my more I like my automated people. turrets and stuff on there. Oh, shit. I forgot to change the uh, ship. Board. CPU is running a little hot at 60 Celsius. That's that's not bad at all, dude. For, you know, running a, a game like this, you have to remember most CPUs 
have an auto shut down at, at 100 Celsius, sometimes 95. You could very comfortably run this above 75 Celsius and not really see a whole lot of issues. If it starts to go upwards of 80, that is when you'll start to see a lot of uh, performance drop based on the heat. Where we are right now is just fine. Can't this wait? Oh, yeah. A lot of load screens. I mean, some of this is my fault. I keep jumping back and forth. Make home ship. Any combined ships? No. No. Vault Krog is by. Okay. Well, that was a fun little thing. Now we can go over to Bannock. No problem. By our ships combined, we are Captain Universe. What up, Justin? the game will give you like warnings when you try to fly here without the systems that I have to deflect the lightning. bump that. My hole is actually taking damage, or my shield rather, is taking damage from all this still too. There it is. Can you fly in cockpit cam? Yeah, you can. I just like the third person view for flying ships because I like to look at the ships itself. But you very much so can go first person, like you like can see here. What's up, Captain TH? How you doing, man? Warning, an emergency lockdown is in effect. Talking status, unoccupied ready, sealed. Okay, we got nothing there. Bro, point of your pubes out. You okay, Lee? You good dog? You okay, man? Hmm, that's just not going to fit most spots. Hey, that's good. Sedative. We'll take it.
Try the fire knife. It's a little weaker than the knife I have on, and fire damage doesn't really add up quick enough to really justify using it at this point in the game, so I'm going to pass on it for now. Crew recording initiated. Hello? Hello? Engineer and message said they set up some kind of a recording system. Well, the red light is on, so I guess it's working. It's been a few days since I docked with the Legacy. For the time being, I'm stuck here. Every system on my ship, including the prototype shielding, is completely burned out. It's unlikely it'll ever fly again. Whatever's protecting the Legacy seems to be holding for now. Which is pretty amazing considering she's been here for almost 40 years. Long story short, I'd make it to the prize, but now I'm stranded trying to figure a way off this Hulk. I gotta tell you though, it's not looking good. Not at all. I found the remains of the Legacy's crew. Looks like they're starved to death. Hmm. Um, signing off. Crew recording terminated. Right. A little dire. Crew recording initiated. All right. I've so got a 4080, Sophie. Been locked in there? <sighs> Exclamation sure. mark specs will give you my build. All I know is that he took some food packs and his duffel into the head and locked himself inside. Everyone's been steering clear of him since he scared Simmons, so we didn't even realize he did this till today. Bakara, can you hear me? You need to open this door and let us in. The hell with it. I'm going to use the override. I've already tried that. He's rewired the door or something. Maybe change a code. Not sure what he's done. Kilner, can we cut through the bulkhead or the door? I'm open to any suggestions. To be honest, I wouldn't go cutting anything in this ship right now. The structure is extremely unstable. Damn it. Well, we can't just leave him in there. Begging your pardon, but we can. It's pretty clear that Bakar checked out after our initial assessment, and he's been killing morale across the ship. Let him soak in there for a while. When he gets hungry, he'll come out. I suppose you're right. Crew recording terminated. Hmm. Sounds like things kind of went belly up real fast, huh? There's the main storyline. Nope. I've barely even touched it. Can you scrap ships to use the parts on another ship? No, but you can sell them. You can make money on them. Warning. Bulk access requires an authorized transfer module. Okay. They're convenient. Hey, Mod X, how you doing? How many hours do you have in the game? Um, after today's stream, I'll have like 102, 103. What's up, nerd? How you doing? Need the guide. Need to find the guy to buy the module to prevent scans when I have illegal cargo, but I haven't found out where to get it yet. You know, if you want me to reveal some locations for you, I can. Or a location.
What's up, Happy Sacks? Happy Place? Hello? Can you strip the bodies of its guns and equipment and sell it? Off the robots? No. But, like, like bodies? Yeah, you can take a lot of stuff off bodies, like, in general. Like, human bodies. You can take the guns, the armor, spacesuits, stuff like that. Or jump packs. Sure. Space Smeagol slices robots to death? That's pretty true. That's pretty true, man. I was there for that. I remember. <laughs> okay, that and that work for the first layer. For the second. That and that. Radiation week. Uh oh. Shit, dude. Tell that one was not built for combat. All right, this is not ideal. All right, those are some tanky bots, dude. Surely a shrapnel grenade will not do well here, but have it. Okay, bad throw. Ow. Total system failure. <laughs> what was the ragdoll there? I'm just very afraid of like eating bullets. I'm playing on normal difficulty. How are you finding the game so far? I'm enjoying it, Radio Boy. I'm just relaxing. Nice, nerd. Nice. Open, open, open. Kill it. Oh my god, there's one behind me. Hey, how'd you get up here? You stealthy man. my gun this is my gun this is my other gun is there a vats lock on in this game no that is a fallout mechanic that doesn't exist in other games
quickly as possible play the game using mostly melee weapons. Are there any melee weapons available? I'm using a melee weapon right now, hey man. Yes, you can play the game with melee only. All right, that's radioactive right there. Yikers. Yikers. That's a master lock. That sucks. Oh, there's so much juice in that room, dude. What's that gun? Can't really tell what that is. There's so much juice in that room. I want it. I think it's the only way. Yeah, I don't see any vents in there either. It sucks. It sucks, dude. See a robot try and kick you? You may have. You may have witnessed that. That might have been a thing you just saw. Yeah. Yep. I too was there the day the robot tried to kick me. That was a little hellish, but we got through together. Don't worry about it. with a knife or strafe and once you close that gap they really don't know what to do possible. expert lock I can't do that either I can only do up to advanced experts the next level Can't reach that with a knife. Looks like that one's malfunctioning, though. I wonder if they can only shoot based on cameras? No, it kind of makes sense, but why would it not have a camera of its own? Right? Encumbered. We don't really need the Equinox, to be fair. To be fair. How many weapons on quick draw? Just two. My cutlass and my dagger. Or my knife. Another bot in that one. Camera over there. Unlucky. Oh my god, stop punching me, man. Just just stop it.
Hold on, for science? Alright, it still sees me. So something was wrong with the other camera. Or not the other camera, but the other uh, turret in the other room anyway. Let's see this. Gra Gravitix system computer. Any cool faction special weapons? There are cool faction special weapons, yeah. There are indeed. Right, one, two, three. Remote door control. Open. Remote robot control. I am friend now. Okay, I am friendly. Remote turret control? Friendly. Friends. Remote alarm control? Disarm. Alright. What's in the box, dude? That goes there, which means this will go here. That goes there, so this goes here. You know, I know it's like mostly robots here and shit, but... I thought I just set them to friendly. Huh. I guess not. Surely picking this lock is the right thing to do right now. Surely. Oh my god, there's more. Jesus, dude. Oh my god, the lunge punch from you. Oh shit. <laughs> This is not good. There's too many bots. Too many turrets. Jesus, dude. Knife fighting a bunch of robots. Okay, I'm over encumbered too, so that's a bit not great. Hey, step forward into the mine. Thank you. failure. Just tanking it. Just tanking it. I only have one med pack left, guys. It's not great.
Found another one. It's fine. Master lock. Can't do a damn thing with that. Oh, I can't take the digi pick. It won't highlight. Engine room computer. Remote turret control. Okay. Okay. So there's different systems. Okay. Recalibrate. Thank you. How about, how about the robots? Recalibrate. Thank you again. Jesus. Alarm control. Disarm. That is disarmed, right? Yes. Huh. Monster hold safe code. K0098097375. Is that for this safe right next to me? Yes. Almost 3k credits. Look at that. Oh, there's an old earth hunting rifle. Let me show you guys. This is the rifle I was talking about earlier. <laughs> it's a VSS. <laughs> interesting, interesting hunting rifle, right? Interesting hunting rifle. Do I need to unlock this? I don't think I need to unlock this. No, I don't need to unlock that. Are you friends now? They are friends now. I like that. I like that about them. Does it do great damage? I've not used it before yet. Vault door computer open. Go ahead and open up all this business here. Take the trauma kits. Okay, so there's going to be more systems in this room that are probably going to be aggressive to me. And I'm hoping that I can find the computer before these things find me. Robots over there. Okay, they got a fuck. They, they got a. They got a, a. A battle dog. Oh my god, dude. Oh, that thing is wrecking me. It is level twenty, after all. You wouldn't believe there's some Starfield reviews that people are complaining about not being allowed to land on Neptune. I mean, really land on Neptune? Yeah, it, I said the same thing yesterday myself. Like, use your elementary school, <laughs> use your grade school education and understand that you, there's nothing on a gas giant that you can land on, please. Not to mention the, the gravity well of it. I mean... You know? But some people just want to be mad. Knife that turret? Hell yeah. I'll knife the heck out of that turret, dude. Don't you worry. 
Now, where is this one going? Well, I'm going to just have highlighted this one. That's going there. That one could go there. This one's not going to work for anything down here, is it? I don't think so. I don't think that's going to work at all, actually. So this accounts for those. That would only account for two, and I don't have any, like, one, so that's not going to work out. However, this will. Is there difficulty settings for this game? Sure is. Or sure are, I guess would be the proper thing to say here. Instigating calibrated Nova lights. There's some more 762 rounds, too. We need to drop some stuff. What, what's my mass? 136? That's that's okay. That's not bad. What is this weapon? Oh. Right. Right, right, right. You know if there's a way to reset your perks later in game? I have no idea. I've actually not seen that. Oh, cred chips. Oh, cricks. The Revenant legendary rifle. I've not seen a rifle like that yet in the game. That's interesting. Have I? Oh, this looks like a modified array done. rifle. I've tried everything I can possibly Yep, it is. Okay, I have seen this before. Right where I started. Oh, oh yeah. First, fix my ship and get the prototype shielding back online. Second, shunt the power for crew recording initiated. Whoops. Well, now, let's see. Another day's gone by. The money. Food packs for my ship are gone, so it looks like the clock's running down for me and Issa wins. What a clever woman. I never saw it coming. I mean, I can't blame her. I was stupid enough to hand her the opportunity. Now the fleet's resting on her shoulders. Dude, that, this weapon's super light. Mass only right .14. That's insane. <sighs> Message. <laughs> Tell Issa that I don't want. 
blame her for what she's done. Most important, tell her to keep the fleet strong. Crew recording terminated. Hmm. Okay, so this is a thing. We need to find a couple transfer modules. Warning, power reserves insufficient for requested action. I don't know where we would find those. We would probably have to search the entire ship over. Because they're certainly not in this room. The 99 on the gun, is that a digital kill counter? No, that is uh, the ammo count. See how it just has a max of 99, but once you uh, go below that, it counts it properly. Pretty cool little rifle. We gotta listen to Crix's recording now. Which recording was it? Do 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 do. Recording initiated. Hello? Hello. Engineer's message said they set up some kind of a recording system. Well, that's the one from earlier. That's not what I want. Technician Shibata. Current V posted no. to Genedi's RMD laboratory. Where the hell is it? Crew recording initiated. All right, so how long has Bakara been locked in there? I'm not sure. Crew recording initiated. Son of a bitch. Nothing. Complete waste of time. I've tried everything I can possibly think of and I end up right where I started. Oh, here, I thought I was so clever. Thought I had it all figured out. First, fix my you really like this game? Yeah, I did. I wouldn't be playing it if I didn't enjoy it. Second, shunt the power from the cred tank array back to the system to drain the credits. And then third, haul ass back to my ship before the EM field rips apart the legacy. Three easy steps, right? Only problem is, I'm stuck at step one. Every system on my ship is dead, and there's nothing aboard this ship to use for repairs. I'm enjoying it a lot, Welshman. I can't believe I came all this way just to end up stuck here like the poor bastards who ran this ship. <sighs> Actually, wait a second. Isa. Oh, Isa now it'll work. I told her where I was going for a reason. She's smart. She'll, she'll know something's up when I miss the rendezvous. After all, we're supposed to split the loot. Multiple pulse reaches detected. Structural integrity failing. Immediate 
All right. We got to go, guys. This just in. We got to go. Okay. Extreme heat down here. That's not great. The floor is lava. You guys ever played that game before? Oh, Christ. Here we go. Gotta go. You know, I opened this door earlier. I know I opened this door earlier. They closed it on me. Go, go, go. Holy shit. That's not the way. It's a dead end. I'm taking your money. I'm taking your trauma pack. That's mine now. Oh, it's so close, dude. Oh boy, whole breaches all around. Things are a little hazy. Did that ship just blow? Yeah, there's not shit left of that. All right, let's bounce. <laughs> there's not nothing. There's not a thing left of that ship. Back to Crix. Now, the thing I fear about this is that when we show up, the, uh, the UC is going to be here attacking the station. Yep, that's the way it goes, Travis. That's the way it goes, man. Yep, we got the UC here. That one's really far away. Let's start with this one. It's a lot closer. I will. Let me just uh, grab some of this loot here, bud. You understand the, the life of a pirate, right? I got to get the monies. I 
They didn't really send in a lot of their best ships, did they? I also wonder if that's going to result in a bounty on me. Ooh, that's a good bit right there. Guys, we're just 24 likes away from 600 on the video today. If you're enjoying your time here, it would mean a lot if you hit that like button. I appreciate a lot, dudes. Thank you. All right, let's dock. Yeah, Nandor, I like to leave one on standby until something important pops up that I need it for, so that way I can just allocate it really quickly. Don't stand there looking stupid. Everything's going to hell and Delgado needs you in operations. Is there a max level? Level 100, I believe. Not yet, but hey, if you stand here long enough, maybe we can just wait and see if their next attack wave does a better job. Yeah? Well, if we survive, I'll pat you on the back later. Oh Picande is throwing everything he's got at us, but we're planning on pushing his sorry ass all the way back to Jemison. That is, unless you want to keep standing here talking while the Vigilance puts its crosshairs on us. All right, all right. Let's go speak to Delgado. I went the wrong way. Where the hell the arrows go? Oh yeah, well it ain't just system. There they are. Is that it? That is Grix's legacy. Believe it's right here. Jazz, fire up the analyzer. Can you confirm? It's true. You were right all along, Dell. You know, there were moments, doubts. I almost stopped believing it was real, that I was chasing ghosts. But then came that day on Subaruf, and everything changed. And now, here it is Grix's legacy, our future. Of that, there can be no doubt. Commerce. With good financial planning, we could secure the fleet's future for generations. I get what you're saying, but we're not going to be bankers. These funds will go to weapons, ships, and boots on the ground. Now, only one thing stands in our way. The vigilance. Speak of the devil. Jazz. What is the situation? Looks like Ikande is starting to move. Typical sea stiff. The sharks are so bloodthirsty, they won't even give us time to bask in the moment. Why is Commander Ikande attacking us now? They're afraid of us. With Greeks' legacy at hand, Ikande knows we're unstoppable. It's a desperate move that's going to end with UC Sistef losing everything. If he destroys us, he'll destroy the legacy. Ikande doesn't give a damn. He doesn't need the legacy. He's just terrified what we'll do with all the credits. That is, if we survive this encounter and get to spend them. Those first few Sistef ships were only scouts, trying to confuse us and probe our defenses. Which means they're playing it smart. They're gonna try to take out our defensive batteries before bringing in their big guns. The batteries are the only thing we have with enough electromagnetic firepower to punch through the Vigilance's heart and shielding. I remember reading about that. We lose that. those batteries, we lose everything. Bet my ship has enough firepower to take out the Vigilance. Hey, genius. <laughs> Did you listen to a word I said? The Vigilance's shields are close to impenetrable. The defensive batteries are the only thing we have that can cut through. Jazz, lay the plan out for us. 
We're gonna hold the fort here while you hop back into your bird and head for those defensive batteries. For optimal firing coverage, we're keeping them far from the key and each other. So you'll have to jump to each one individually. <laughs> you see any stiff ships get within pissing distance of the batteries? You take them out. In the meantime, we'll secure Crix's legacy here and have Shinya begin cracking the encryption right away. All right. Send me to get killed and I don't get my cut. If I wanted you dead, I wouldn't take a chance that you might survive the battle. I'd shoot you in the head right here, right now. As it happens, keeping you alive is going to end up being much more lucrative for everyone. Receiving a cut of those credits is the only thing that is convincing the fleet's captains that it's worth risking their own lives to defend the key. Hey, if it's any help, you can count on one hell of a party when you get back. Amen, All right. Jazz. All right, dude. Once the batteries are online, we will start our attack of the vigilance. We'll tear apart the shields, board the ship, and bring Ikande to his knees. Works for me. Then you have your orders. Oh, and one last thing before you go. In preparation for the attack, Ikande arrested some of our people. While you're aboard the Vigilance, you might want to spring them from the brig. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, now's the time. Otherwise, good luck. No, I think that's good. Secure defensive battery Gamma, Beta, and Alpha. Guys, we will be saving this for the beginning of stream tomorrow. I'm going to cut out of here now. We're already a half hour burnt beyond my, uh, my, my usual cutoff. So I'll be back tomorrow to finish up this, uh, pirate quest line. What did you need, Hotshot? This has been fun today. We, we made some really cool, uh, really cool things happen today. But I'll be back tomorrow to continue this quest line and pick everything up from there. And we'll do some more stuff. Maybe we'll touch on the main story tomorrow to advance that and get some cool powers and stuff. Okay. Thank you all so much for hanging out today. Thank you for 600 likes on the video. That's huge. That's massive. Thank you all for the incredible, incredible supports. We're almost at 46,000 subscribers as well on the channel, which is a massive, big, big, big. We're only 22 away. If you enjoyed your time here, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. And then, of course, keep your eyes and ears peeled for the stream tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah, a bit of a cliffhanger, but, you know, we're already running over time. So it is what it is. Anyways, guys, thank you. Thank you all for chilling. I appreciate your company. I, it was great to have you again today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, be excellent to each other. Have a great night, folks.